Oh, hello, beautiful people of the internet. Please tell me no one saw me accidentally type that in Discord. Whoops. Shit. <laughs> Thank you, Pexy. Oh, hello, beautiful people of the internet. Or should I say AI? Are every one of you an AI? I think some of you might be. Sorry, never mind. Uh, hello. How are we all doing? Welcome to stream. Happy Wednesday. I had a heart attack for a second there because I thought maybe it was Thursday and I had messed up the music. But it's fine. Chat's full of bots. Shit, you got me. Hi, Willow Whisper. Hi, McBell. How's it going? Hi, Shubius. Uh, hello, recent Flexor Public. Hi, Marsh. Gelef, Mortal Wombat. Hi, Tony. Hi, Koilag's Bosom. That never gets old. Hi, Monami. Xenon. Captain Morgan. Geo. Saberkite. Misao. Uh, hi, everybody. How are we all doing? Welcome to stream. Dead internet theory literary analysis video when? Literary analysis video when? Question mark. The answer will always be never again. Never again. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Oh, Lord. Welcome to stream. Uh, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's been a little bit of a uh, low energy day around here. 
But I am very excited to play some Dark Souls. I'm excited to hang out with you all. I'm excited uh, to make a little something out of our afternoon, you know? What are we going to get up to? I don't know. I mean, I know vaguely the docket, but, you know, that's our destination. But what's going to be along the way? What's going to be the journey? I don't know. The music loud to anyone else? I feel like I fucked up the music volume. Either that or my ears are sensitive. I'll turn it down a little bit. Cards! Cards! Iculos, thank you for the five gifted subs. And uh, Pexy, thank you for the five gifted subs on the intro screen. Um, hell yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Ryan, have you read any Brandon Sanderson books? Yeah, like six of them, for five of them. A couple. I'm not completely caught up on Stormlight Archives, but I've read a bunch. Tony, you want some treats? Yo, Oracle just got gifted a sub. Let's go! Ah! You want this one? Good dogs. And by that, I mean good dog. Hero's downstairs in his crate. <laughs> He's in jail. Uh, shout out to Marsh, Jiridine, and Carly for those treats. Uh, Lama says I'm so lethargic today. I want to just bundle back into my blankets and sleep the afternoon away. That's similar to how I felt this morning. Similar to how I felt. Very similar. High Garden Trilogy. Now I can say it's time for you, Dibe. Oh my god, you can say it. You did say Tony. What did I say? Treats are from Carly, Giordano, and Marsh. Shit, what did I say? I just fill in Tony when I when my brain blanks. I just fill in Tony. Tony, you want some treats? Hey, Tony, you want some treats? He still came, so maybe his name is Tony. Hi, buddy. I gotta give you one now because I now I said the word. <laughs> you know, it's his middle name, Kingsley Tony Indigestion. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Head empty, no thoughts on that dog? Truly. Truly head empty, zero thoughts. Oh, Lord. Um, Pexy says, I'm starting to wonder if I'm having such a good week because the college I find annoying is on vacation right now. Like, the college in your town? Like, are you usually interacting with students being annoyed? Um... Tony is a mod hero. He's a mod king. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Mod Kingsley. Oh, what's new today, guys? What's new, y'all? How's the day going? Megan and I finally watched that uh, the new Game Changer last night. Um, we were in the middle of making dinner. Uh... And uh, finally watched the, uh, the new episode, which was very good stuff. Very funny. Uh, really good. <sighs> yeah, I loved it. I really, big fan. Exclamation D20 in the chat, but, um, but also, you know. But also Game Changer, but also all the others. Um, <clears throat> Silburns, thank you very much for the three months. Thank you. Quillag's bosom got a uh, 100 on my art history midterm. Going to treat myself today. And then, unfortunately, had your VIP taken away because I just realized that I gave you VIP yesterday and I haven't taken it away yet today. Oops, sorry. Only for a day. My bad. Oh, Lord. Quote 1500, by the way. Um, have I told you guys of the story of how I, uh, of how I recently played a Valorant game with a person whose username was Omens Fleshlight? Have I, did, did I tell that story already? I hate that. <laughs> yeah, so that's how Valorant is right now. I played some Valorant last night and... I didn't actually encounter that person last night, but it did make me think of it again. And I was like, I gotta tell Stream that story. John, you play Valorant as well? 
want to hop on sometime. No, I don't, like... because Valorant makes me unhappy and feel less like a human and like a good person and like a productive person and a happy person. And yet sometimes I still play it. Uh, thank you though. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the offer. <laughs> Monami, thank you for the hundred bits. Sir Ducky, thank you for the uh, for the bits. We have a hype train incoming. Holy shit! Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, did you have to tell to say that though? I'm sorry. I listen. Here's the deal. Things happen to me. Interesting, good, bad things happen to me. Beautiful things, terrible things, and I just report them to you. That's my job. That's the uh, that's the descript descriptor. In an attempt to be entertaining, I would say mostly not, but you know, bonk that person. So if I haven't told you this, here's what I asked that person immediately upon getting into the game. Username, Omen's Fleshlight. I said, I got into the game. I said, I thought it was one type of thing. I, I feel like I did tell this story, but maybe not. Uh, I thought it was one type of thing, which I was like, oh, you have like a partner who plays Omen in the game. And their name is like Sages. <laughs> their, <laughs> their name is like Sages Dildo or something. And your name is Omen's Fleshlight. And then together you make one of those typical E <laughs> power couples that is Valorant. It's just that's the Valorant experience. It's always like, uh, 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 Sage's carry, Jet's pocket healer, or whatever. Like, it's all that kind of stuff. No, that's, but this, this was not the case. I asked the person, I was like, oh, do you usually play with someone called, like, you know, <laughs> Sage's dildo or something? Like, do you have a, a partner you usually play with? And they were like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, your name is Omen's flashlight. I thought maybe you had a friend who really liked to play Omen. And they were like, no, 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 no. You misunderstand me. And they did a really good job explaining it to me, and they were really patient with me. And they said, no, you don't understand. Omen. The character from Valorant. I would like to be the their <laughs> flashlight. And I said, oh, so this is an aspirational. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're I understand. You are aspiring to be. You're like applying for the job. You're like I, Omen. Pick me. This, this choose me. You're that's what you would like. That's your dream job. You're like. Future astronaut, Omen's flashlight. I get it. I mean, look at these abs. I get it. I mean, and by abs, I mean whatever the hell's going on there. But, anyways. <clears throat> hey, Amarox Rose, how's it going? They're trying to manifest. They're manifesting a future they really want to be in. Yeah. Hi, Nairist. Welcome in. Welcome in. I adore this info dump. Yeah. The thing about putting your name as something like that, though, is that immediately something like, and I'm going to make up a statistic here, but, but I think it's probably pretty accurate. Something like 60 to 70% of all Valorant players at any time are willing to drop everything they're doing and flirt with someone who, uh, who, uh, uh, and flirt with someone in the game, especially if, uh, that person puts something horny in their name. Absolutely. You put something horny in your name and you speak once on voice call and your name and, and your voice is at all in any way, shape, or form sexy or or even sexy adjacent, and people will drop everything. So I asked Omen's flashlight this thing, and then the rest of the game was just everyone in the lobby being like, Hey, uh, hey, hey, Omen's flesh uh hey, so uh <laughs> and I'm just like, Oh my god. I immediately mute everyone. I'm here to play a dumb game that makes me mad because I have an hour to kill and I want to turn my brain off. <laughs> I haven't played Valorant since the month it came out, but yeah, I buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Ms. Jizzy BB. How's it going? Still not as horny as Overwatch players? Overwatch players are hornier? That's crazy. I've only played a little bit of Overwatch. Like five minutes, 20 minutes. I'm happy to have avoided it. <laughs> Remember when they invented the internet and thought it would be used to spread knowledge and make the world a better place? Boy, were they wrong. No, they were right. 
uh, that person spread the knowledge that they were auditioning to be for the for the role of Omen's flashlight, and they spread it to a lot of people. And now I'm here spreading it to you. <laughs> we're we are all cursed with that knowledge now, Captain Morgan. Oy vey. Oy vey. You missed the tracer fiasco? Oh no, that's a character, isn't it? In in Overwatch. Oh no. Stop saying spread. You're right. Yep. That's a, correct. Yep. <laughs> oh lord. Anyways, that's the story of uh, my Valorant game recently. Mm -mm. I'm just going. I'm, I'm going to be completely. I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. I have a notes app on my phone where I write down stuff to tell stream because I always, because I always forget what I want to tell you guys until, like the minute I'm sitting here, I forget. So then I look down at an app on my at a notes app on my phone. Um. Oh no. The only one I have is something that I don't understand. The only thing I have in my notes app right now is something I don't understand. Nope, I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I, I dredged it up from the depths. Let me see if I Google microwave head guy, if it'll show up. Microwave head guy? There it is. Have you guys seen microwave head guy? Anyway, cards. Yeah, we'll do cards here in a second. <laughs> Microwave head guy. His name is technically Make the Hood Smile on Instagram. Microwave man, a.k.a. Make the Hood Smile on Instagram. I've seen this dude. There it is. Do I want to see him? Absolutely you do. Absolutely you need to see this. Uh, is th This is the first time I've come in at the beginning of uh, stream. Is this a typical conversation? Uh, I'll let Chad answer that. So far, has this been a typical start to stream? Why in chat if yes? And in chat if no? We all know what everybody's typing. We all know what everybody's typing. It's a yes. All right, so here's the deal. Let me see if I can click on this without uh, anything happening. Microwave man, make the hood smile. So, uh, sorry for light mode. Um, this is a person who rides around on a little dirt bike with a microwave on their head dispensing real wisdom. That's not sarcasm for me. That's real wisdom. Uh, let me see if... What's a good one? 1.2 million, 2.7? Let's see what this one is. This might be loud. Don't make me do this shit! God damn it. You motherfucker. Uh, I don't know what my password is. God damn it. I don't know what my password is. Show us your pack password. Time to dox. Hmm. Oh, well, here's the problem. I have an idea. Oh, did I misspell it? I'm such a boomer. After four attempts, I have not gotten it correct. So here's the deal. We're going to have to do this old-fashioned style. Microwave man. You should write them down in that notes app. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Microwave man, a.k.a. Make the Hood Smile. Uh, he pulls up in his, in his uh, dirt bike. He skids. He opens this way. The microwave that his head is inside of, that his head is using as a helmet, and then he dispenses wisdom. And it's usually some relatively positive, sometimes a little gritty, you know, uh, sort of sort of encouragement. And uh, things like, um, how, how would you phrase one? Um, things along the sort of line of like, uh, of course it feels hard right now, if it didn't feel hard, you wouldn't be about to, you know, you wouldn't be about to go through an upswing. Keep on keeping on, player. <laughs> that kind of thing. It'd be, oh, Lord. Play it through the phone. That's a great idea. That's a better idea. I should really just get logged on. How else am I going to show you all the funny Instagram things I find? 
it's just very here's here's why I wrote it in my notes app. It's just very it's very positive. It's a it's a thing I'm happy to know exists in the world. But here's the thing. Find a YouTube video of someone reposting the Instagram reel bonus points if they recorded the screen with a camera. Let's see if I can play it. Guess what? It ain't happening. You know why? Because I got a motherfucking microwave on my head. <laughs> That's the energy we're bringing. That's the energy we're bringing. Uh, you know why? Because I got a motherfucking microwave on my head. Uh, That's the energy we're bringing. Here's what it makes me think, though. In a weird way, I'm so happy to have that energy in my life, right? But in a weird way, I'm more confused now. No, no, no. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. Let me see if I can pull this off better. I don't think you understand. Um, hmm. If you're serious about change, just know you're going to go through some uncomfortable situations. Stop trying to dodge the process because in the long run, it's going to make you better. And don't forget that shit you heard. And don't forget that shit you heard. Anyways, uh, here's the thing. Would you say this is one of the quote-unquote small joys we overlook in our busy lives? He's so right. I heard. I trust him. I love him. I love him. Here's the problem. I love that I've discovered him, and he's brought me a very small amount of joy. <sighs> but after I, I saw like my first reel or, or video of him on the on the Instagram and then I saw like two more three more I just started to have this like deep down gut feeling and I was like oh man I'm a little sad I feel like this I feel like the internet has just removed a little magic from the world you know imagine you live I don't know where make the hood smile lives but imagine you lived there and you saw this happening that's a magical fucking day. You go home, you tell the people you live with, a man skirted up on his motorcycle, they're hanging on, on your every word, opened the, the hood, dispensed wisdom, and then rode off into the sunset. I thought I was hallucinating. Do I trust myself or was I tripping acid? That's a magical day. And to me, it's just a little... It's a little thing I like, <laughs> and then I scroll to the next one. The internet has done so much for us, and also I think it has slightly, it's, it's slightly erased some of the magic. Like, I, I think I like Microwave Man better as a, as a myth that I never actually get to see. And I think I would, you know? But instead... He's got 1.7 million views on. <laughs> There's no like local heroes anymore that are just local local myths, you know? But man, he's got 1.7 million likes on Instagram though. You know? I don't know. That's that's the kind of thing I was thinking the other day is I was just like, I'm a little sad the microwave man has gone global, you know? Because microwave man could have been. But we but we live, you know, just just a local legend, but we live in this world instead, where instead of being a local legend, you're an internet pop, pop in the flash in the pan, you know? Anyways, back to me being a flash in the pan. Let's play some Dark Souls. <laughs> now, let's play some, uh, let's play some, uh, let's open some cards. Someone drove their car into my local mall's giant sign. That's my local hero on purpose? I, I feel like, um, does anyone have like a, a like a local legend from their hometown? First off, you have to be old enough to have existed before the internet was wildly dispensing views of everything everywhere. Uh, and second off, you have to have had like a local like a legend like that. Um. Mm -mm. I'm trying to think. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think if we really had a version of that in our hometown, in my hometown. Megan's hometown had one. 
But that's her story, not mine. Like a legend that was someone everyone would talk about, or just like a mythical character almost. Like a mythical creature, but it's a person in your town, you know? My town is not relevant enough to ever go viral on the internet, so local urban legends stay pretty local. I, I don't think your town has to be relevant at all. I think the character of the person who is the legend is the thing that is relevant or is, you know, I think that's what we're talking about. We used to. He passed away in 2012. Oh, man. If you can't think of one, it's you. Haha, -ha, writes show chat microwave man in Apple Notes. No, can I tell you what the, can I tell you what the note said, Luke? It's worse than that. It's worse than that. Was I high when I wrote it? Maybe. It's worse than that. The note I wrote in my in my Apple. Let me just fucking show you. Let me just show you. There's no magic in the world. This is all it says. There's no magic in the world anymore. I'm hitting enter so you can't see the rest of my notes. All it says is. There's no magic in the world anymore. Oh, come on, focus. Please do it. And then I had to decode that and be like, what does that fucking mean? I was like, oh, yeah, that's about Microwave Man. <laughs> I mean to say it's not like all myths slash legendary folk go viral now. Uh, because if the audience is small, the chance it goes viral reduces significantly. Uh, what do you mean? I think the audience is like who finds it entertaining, right? I don't think the audience is like the size of the town. I think the size of the town has very little to do with it. I think if you have a... Uh, <laughs> this is like... <laughs> I have a perfect example for you. Okay, perfect example for you. Local legend. Amish guy who plays basketball against his barn in jean shorts. He's not actually Amish, I'm pretty sure. You can't think of a smaller community <laughs> than this guy. Has anybody seen the guy I'm talking about? He's got like, oh my god, five. I don't know how many TikToks he has, but holy shit. How many, how many TikTok uh, subscribers he has? I think I'm thinking more of the like, how does the care, how does it like, rather, it's, it's either like, it used to be like, be a local myth or legend. And now the option is be a micro influencer. <laughs> it's like, it's like, that's the trade off. Um, basketball, Amish, freaking, he's hooping. Oh, I don't know what his actual account is, though. So many results popped up on, uh, on TikTok, but I don't know what his actual name is. Some Pine Grove time? It's Pine Grove time. Uh, my mom is personal friends with a legend like that. He bestowed upon himself the title of Mayor of the Creek and drives everywhere on a souped-up golf cart with my childhood kayak on the top that he essentially stole and a dog in the back who always wears an American flag bandana. <laughs> Guy who sells olive oil on the street and shouts extra virgin after all the teenage girls. All of my examples are terrible, apparently. That is a terrible example. You need to have someone around to post it on the internet in English or American. You need the person who posts it to be found by other people who watch their video. I don't know that I buy that as the, as the equation for how, how things work like that, but maybe. Uh, a town near me currently has a cat which has gone viral because she keeps visiting all the local businesses. She was on the national news. I don't want to dox. Megan and I's... Uh, wedding location but megan and i someone in chat may know this may know this megan and i the night we got married the day we got married stayed in the airbnb an airbnb which was home a few years prior to the now recently departed 
at that point recently departed. Lil Bub. Cat celebrity celebrity Lil Bub. Uh known across the cat internet for for tongue out. We stare <laughs> Megan and I got married. We stayed in a uh, in the Airbnb. And the Airbnb, their major claim to fame was Lil Bub lived here. Lil Bub, Lil Bub lived here. Rest in absolute peace, Lil Bub. Rest in peace. Grumpy Cat stayed at the hotel that I used to work at. 07 to a hero. Monami says there is magic in the world. There's absolutely magic in the world. It was just the dumb way I had to phrase it. The Wizard of New Zealand? Wait, whose is this? Littlest Bogwitch says the Wizard of New Zealand. The Wizard. What did he do to get wizard to get wizard like? Speaking on a ladder in front of a church is that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty. <sighs> I could dox myself by saying I live where a certain famous cartoon creator was born. Interesting. I also grew up near where a certain cartoon creator was born. Are we from the same hometown? Little indigestion got married at Little Bub's house. Technically, I got married in a state park nearby, but I did, I did, uh, I did stay at Little Bub's house. That's a real legend. Guys will see their friend Brad and be like, "The man, the myth, the legend." Not true. If you aren't the wizard, you ain't a legend. If I think wizard, I think ladder. Exactly. All right, let's open some cards. Enough, uh, enough insane. Uh, sorry, enough wild uh, conversation to start the day. I don't know how long today's stream will be, by the way. Um, I think today might end up being a little bit shorter than a, than like a three or four hour stream. Uh, just FYI. Um, what do we got here? I don't know if I've reloaded this recently. Look at that. Seven packs to open. Let's go. I'm never here for cards. What's going on here? Uh, great question. So the easiest way to explain is exclamation cards. Uh, and you can get to the website and read a bunch of frequently asked questions. But I'll give you a quick little uh, explainer while I start a prediction. Um, shit pack farts today, by the way. Is a phrase that I now say as if that's a normal thing. So cards are... Uh, Pieces of art made by community members about moments that have happened on Twitch or YouTube or or in uh, or as a community, um, and they get turned into into trading cards that are actually tradable. You can collect them, you can trade them. Uh, for instance, one of the cards uh, that we could look at right now is Creative Stalling, um, made by Carly. So there's the bronze rarity, of which there are 100. So there are 100 of this bronze color. Um, this is about how I always stall and have always mentioned how much I have a master's in creative writing. There's 50 of the silver. There's uh, 20 of the gold, 10 of the whites, of which we found three so far, one rainbow, and then also a pink, and maybe, no comment, a full art. Um, so yeah, there's really rare, there's less rare. You can collect them if you go to your uh, your username. Uh, let's go to AJ. AJ has some moment cards, which are a different thing. And then these cards right here. They come in seasons. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So said I wasn't here for season one in Tama. You can always trade for it. You can always trade for it. Bye, Lumella. 
I moved from stream being at midnight to being at dinner time, but now it's an improvement. Uh, at least I won't lose more on the prediction. <laughs> Goodbye, Lumella. Sabercat has a pack. Yeah, from Fresh Air Friday, I think. Uh, thanks for the explanation. Yeah, I'm sure I missed some stuff, but let's do it. About 50-50 on the prediction. Little Spogwitch. Looking for adorable rookie cards or anything with our gracious queen. If there is one fan of Meg, it's Littlest Bogwitch. Let's get you going. Uh, we got War Crimes in bronze. Lost in the Sauce in bronze. Looking for a Kingsley or a Hero rookie. The rare rookie card. Hamilton the Boar. Silver. Burnt Marshmallow Silver. So far, we're striking out over here. A couple silvers, though, which is nice. I think Littlest Bogwitch has two uh, white rarity cards, which is incredible. Cult Immunity. Great. That's fantastic. I want to Lost in the Sauce. It's so pretty. Shout out to Llamas. It is so pretty. The details of the art style being... Ugh. Speaking of Llamas. Speaking of Llamas. Let's see what Llamas is looking for. Art, art, art. Lost in the sauce. Our best so far is a gold. We're looking for art. Wonder what we're missing here. Um, just doing a quick little overview. I don't think you have a Harthian headlights. I don't think you have a Minecraft villagers. Some other art. Creative stalling, I think you've got that one. Biblically accurate, I don't know that you have that. Yo! Yo! Uh, incredible. For cards, is the only way to log into the website through your Twitch login. I believe that is is true um, because we use Twitch's API and stuff to uh, like keep track of, like if you were to change your Twitch username, um, it changes on the website as well. It's all integrated, yeah. I think it's the only way you can log in. Basically, we have to have permission to access uh, the fact that if you give five, you know, give five subs or or uh, redeem fifty thousand channel points. All right, silver in two. Exclamation forest! I think you have that one, but I don't know if you have it in silver. Uh, Ryan, rookie gold. All right, a chance for llamas to go greater than gold. Llamas is going for gold, except better. One final card. Let's go, Llamas. Let's go, Llamas. Oh, white proposal, one of 10. Yo. Let's absolutely go. Oh, also, that way we don't have to manage password security stuff. I knew that was the reason. No, I forgot about that reason. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love the white border. It's so good. It's so textured. Congrats, Llamas. Let's see what Pexy's looking for. Whatever, I don't care anymore. I love it. Little in the cards in bronze. Creative stalling. Little in the partner. This is me. I am an AI. I <laughs> your friendly AI streamer. Lost in the sauce. Silver. And Meg Rookie. One of 50. Good stuff. Good stuff. Saberkite. Uh, is this a first pack for Saberkite? <gasps> first ever pack for Saberkite! Everybody freak out. Everybody freak out. Everybody absolutely freak out. Saberkite, the very artist of Queen Meg. Let us see. I have no expectations. That's fine. Your first ever pack. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Fingers crossed. Making spaghetti for when two people love each other very much. Or, or it could be more than two. Consenting adults. Fine wood. Speaking of making spaghetti, am I right? 
biblically accurate. My bi the biblically accurate find oh, I can't do it. Okay. Uh moving on. Tongle of the Wild or Bonk in the Cards. Tongle of the Wild, I'm so sorry for your loss. Saberkite, I'm so sorry you have to get this card. And Ooh! White card gods. Looking down on us. And they said, Saberkite, take a very rare card. Take a very rare card. Uh, incredible. Caitlin. If you have biblically accurate fine wood, you should consult a doctor. <laughs> the card gods were making up for the rest of the smutty pack. They forgive your sins. Caitlin, let's see what you got. First pack. Oh my God. It's a good day for first packs. Drum rolls in the chat. Also, Lambrecht wants some cards. Let's absolutely go. Let's absolutely go. War crimes, any rookie, any animal. I like that. I like that. Now, here's my question. Does Tongle count? Tongle's kind of an animal if you, if you, if you look at him with... If you... He's a creature, I guess, you know? Okay. Uh, Caitlin, rookies. What was it? Rookies? War crimes, rookies, and um, animals. Queen Meg. Incredible. Cult Munity. It's got animals on it. Sort of. Cult Munity. War crimes. Let's go. Let's go. I love it when a person asks for something and they get it. Oh, it's good. It's a good feeling. War crimes. Very good feeling. Golden Little and the Partner. It's about time to get rid of this emote, I think. Um, <clears throat> and finally, Ryan Rookie in white. Oh, oh, lordy. A rookie card. Hold on to that for something like 20 years. Get it graded eventually. Maybe it'll be, maybe it'll have enough to buy a house. I'm so good at this game, Caitlin says. So many white cards today. Zero rainbows, but like four, four white cards. If Little and the Partner leaves, so does my sub. Listen, I only do this for the sub, so I guess we have to keep it. That's a great pack. Great. Saberkite says I'd say this is a good pack. That's a great pack. Great pack. To Fluff, you have a pack. You have a pack. It's a first time pack. Let's go. Is that cat wearing a bikini? I think it might be. Looking for Tama. Backseat. Front seat. Uh, okay, front seat, unfortunately, is a season one card, but you could trade something for it. Hollow Knight, I think, also might be season one, all season one. We've got Thomas season one. We'll get you some good stuff here. We'll get you some stuff. And you can always trade somebody for other things. There's some Zelda out there. Parthian headlights in bronze. <sighs> Silver in slot two. Silver slot two. My girlfriend ran up and wanted to see a cat in a bikini. It's a cat in a bikini. Oh my god, it gets better when you zoom in. Her. Uh, golden three. B one S two G three. Little in the lull. W four. W4. Oh my god. R5? P5? FA5? We do be climbing. So far, you've got one of every rarity. <laughs> oh, making spaghetti. We stick with white. We stick with white. Making spaghetti. Holy cow. What a good first pack. Great first pack. Holy crap. Congratulations. Good stuff. You've got trading fodder if you want to get a Tama or a, a season one card for sure. Make an offer to somebody. Iculos. Uh, I think we have two. Uh, we have three left. We have three left. Iculos, Lambrecht, and, uh, and I'll open one too. 
Ace to tell your wife. First off, what's Aikido's looking for? Rainbow sauce. S2? H is in the chat. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, I forgot to type in H. Backseating urge in three. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance we're all the way up to cult immunity white in slot four. Okay. Good shot for rainbow here. Good shot for rainbow here. <gasps> Whoa! Yo! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, baby! Full art, fine wood! Oh, my God! Holy shit. We're gonna get there the hard way on this prediction. That's a fine wood joke. Uh... Oh my god. Megan building the boat, me offering fine wood, and a hairy gooch troll in the background. Taking a enhance, enhance, enhance. Taking a little gander at us. <laughs> Incredible. Shout out to Chris. Chris Carey is the uh is the artist for this uh uh for this card. Um I'm so happy with it. Chris was a godsend this season for uh for Valheim stuff. Um for just getting like I think Chris did like three or four cards. Um GG's to Chris. Absolutely. GG's to Chris. He killed it. Um and that's the full art and the pink for fine wood. I'm gonna send that to Meg, actually. Um, uh, amazing art, amazing art. Uh, let me get who, who carries, who holds it in the, in the photo. Aikilos pulled full art. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations, Aikilos. I love this song. Said I missed the prediction. Yeah, that's a way to win for Bluebees. That's a hell of a way to win. That's two full arts for Iculos this season. Is that true? I believe you. I'm just. Oh, one from last season. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, my God. Nemesis of all nemesis. This takes me back. That takes me back. Uh, I'm so excited to see socks full art, but I don't want anybody but me to pull it. Who says there's a socks full art? There, uh, I don't, I don't know that there is. I think, I think there's probably not. Listen, guys, I don't know if you know, I don't know if you remember last season, but you can't do full arts on every, uh, on every card. You know, I, last season there were what, 10, 10 full arts. I think we've pulled like eight, seven or eight full arts this season. I think we're probably about done with them. I think we're probably, you know, I think we're coming to the end of the full art, uh, uh, you know, into the full art train. Disbelief? What do you mean? The full art little into focus means that anything can be full art. I like the way you think, Marsh. I really like the way you think. <laughs> All right, Lambrecht. Biblically saucy minds. <laughs> fleshlight. Biblically saucy minds fleshlight is... That's insane. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, let's just open a pack. Let's just open a pack. Let's just open it. There's some sauce. Now we're looking for biblically accurate. And Mines of Loria. Burnt Marshmallows. Bonk Lambrecht, everyone. Tongle of the Wild. Cult Munity, and we're about to shit pack it. Very close to a shit pack. Can I get a little into stamp in the chat? L's in chat for, uh, for Tongle. I love that you guys put W. 
what percentage of season two cards have been pulled? Uh, so I think it's like probably around 26 or something like that. <gasps> Shit stamp! Hamilton! If my memory's correct, it'd be around 25 or 26. Um, Hamilton, let's go! Uh, stamp of beauty right there. Stamp. It's a poop pig. Pig poop. Hamilton loves rolling around and shit. That's the problem with wrestle with uh with uh you know wrestling with pigs. Uh, you get dirty, they have fun. All right, anybody else popped in? We're getting through these. We're really getting through these. All right, I've got a pack to open. I'm gonna uh we'll see what it is. Uh Zosko, thank you for the follow. Um uh, twenty seven point eight percent of the way through season two. Hero rookie, I'll take it. He's so goddamn cute. Silver in two. I don't really know what I want. I need to take some time and go look at my inventory and figure out what I want. I also need to keep track of if I have every season two card yet. Backseating urge. I feel like this is a is a hell of a combo. You know? This has like a multiplier. Ryan's lost in the sauce. Chat wants to fucking strangle him. Golden backseating urge. Full art backseating urge. I mean, uh, 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 pink. I shall not acknowledge the existence of Meg Rookie, my hero. That's my cherished card. I'm pinning it immediately. Pinning it immediately. I should have just clicked right there. Glad to be here. Welcome in. Uh, Golden Megan Rookie. Pinned to profile. Uh, I just did the exact same thing. Oh, God, I hit the wrong button. Uh, there we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's going to do it for packs today. I think that's everybody. Yep. Yo, let's play some uh let's play some uh some Dark Souls. Do 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 Wait, what about mine? Tony, did you have one? Ah You promised me a pack when baby arrived. I'm super serious. <laughs> I do love the I'm super serious on the end of that. I have no memory of that, Tony. Um, <laughs> on the other hand, I have a bad memory. I'm super serious at the end is fantastic. Tony, if you make an account for Emma, uh, we can figure something out. But hear, hear me out. You did offer me a treat earlier. <laughs> hear me out. There's got to be something in it for me. You know, and I need a, a new foot. And I need a new follower on Twitch out of this deal. So uh, I'm, t uh, I'm, t I'm totally kidding. Please don't do that. Uh, <laughs> but the idea of it is really funny to me, but don't do it because it seems bad. But um, and also it would literally but break Twitch to us. But, you know, um, boycott Ryan until Tony gets a pack. Justice for Tony. Who wants to trade cards? I'll trade you. What are you trying to trade? Is it just me or is stream lagging? Oh, I just dropped some frames. You're right. Anybody else? Uh, it's only 40 frames. But... I dropped 40 whole frames, unwatchable. I mean, we were right on the border of unwatchable in the first place. Tony didn't get any treats either. Here's the deal. I owe Tony a DM asking, hey, can we please have an address that we can send you some stuff? <laughs> so Tony, I'll make you a deal. I won't give you a Twitch pack, but do me the favor of DMing me a mailing address for you. Because Megan and I have uh, uh, are requesting it. 
if you feel comfortable sharing. How's that for a deal? Fine, good. <clears throat> this stream's been unwatchable for years. I've, I've pride myself on how unwatchable this is. Okay, here's the deal. A lore dump. I don't know that I'm prepared to do a lore dump, but thank you for the reminder, Deku. Um, I know I promised we would do a lore dump or like a, a, lore, a lore explanation at the start of stream today. I don't know that I'm prepared for it. Um, I'm going to push it off till tomorrow again. Um, that's all right. I, I need to think about it a little bit more. Um, I can do my best. I can do my best to like come up with something, but, um, but I, I don't, I don't have a lot of confidence that I'll be able to do that off the cuff. Um, so let me like think about it overnight. That's when, that's when you'll get something good. Um, so maybe, maybe tomorrow. <clears throat> Um, all right, let's do it. Let's play some Dark Souls. Unless you guys don't want to. Oh, hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. We're playing Dark Souls. I don't know if you've ever heard of it before. If you haven't heard of it and you're watching this random stream and pretty far into the, uh, pretty far into the playthrough, that would be a little bit confusing. Um, but yeah, it's a game where... Uh, listen, I said I was going to do a lore explanation today, or, and by lore explanation, I mean I was going to do my best to uh, say what I thought the lore of the game was, but here's the thing. I'll do that tomorrow or something. I, <laughs> I still don't know what the, what the explanation of what's happening here is um, outside of like, yeah, I need to think on it a little bit more. I need to think on it a little bit more. Um, let me do this first. <clears throat> Last time on Little Indigestion plays Dark Souls Remastered in a bad way. Here's what happened. We began in Blight Town, which is in need of a major makeover and probably some like uh, some decorated medians down the middle of their road with trees planted. And anyways, I'm running for mayor. Um, Blight Town is a shit show. We made it to the bottom, to the poison swamp. Fuck me with a poison stick. I hate it. Uh, there's people who throw rocks. There's nasty mosquitoes and other lobster bug looking things. We found a bonfire down there. We found an elevator down there, a wooden elevator. Um, and we found Quilag or Quilag or Quilag. I don't know how you pronounce it. In a performance I am likely to never repeat again, <laughs> we defeated Quilag and her. Uh, bosom um her intimidating bosom uh we found quilava that's right uh which gave us access to a place called De demon ruins demon ruins it's scary it's really scary um and rather than go that way and die to i'm just now remembering we found an enemy literally called ceaseless discharge rather than die repeatedly to that nightmare of a name uh, we took the elevator up and made it back to here right after getting a firekeeper soul, I think is what it's called. We discovered that our firekeeper is dead and I can't use it. Fuck me with a poison stick. Sideways. Um, we also last time rang the bell. That's the other thing that happened is in Blight Town, we rang the second bell, which was the goal we were sort of given from the start. Let me get my notebook out by this motherfucker. And now that we have, he says something about somebody snoring. It's something should be done. Um, so yeah, we're kind of in an interesting place. We're at a very like, uh, it feels a little bit like we're at a, at a, at a junction. It says light bonfire, but firekeeper is absent and we cannot light the bonfire. That's stressful because this was the first real bonfire that I had over here. So I really would like to have it back. <laughs> And I can't have it back. It's bad. Um, so what is it you would you want to do next time? Uh, sorry, what is it you want to do next in Dark Souls, Ryan? Fantastic question, Ogity. I don't really know. I have a long list of things we could do. 
that I probably need to check off some of the items on because I think technically they're done now. But, um, but I don't know. The Michelin Man door has opened, which is a phrase that only makes sense if you've actually watched this playthrough. But the uh, Onion Knight, I think, is what you, is what y'all said. Onion Knight. Um, that door is opened, uh, so we could go there. Um, thank you very much for the follow, Selena Whispers. There's a Hydra to defeat. There's Ceaseless Discharge. I think Elevator I can cross off because Elevator Up was the thing that came, brought us back to here. We figured out the new key, which was, which was the key that locked the two things together. Um... Yeah. I lost all of my shats to Dark Soul Gambling. Some people lost some major shats yesterday. Yeah. So here's the first thing I want to try. You may... Uh, let's let's rehear this dialogue. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. I might ask a front seat question here because I want to piece together some story. And I want to make sure I have the details of the game, that the game has provided me uh, as correct as possible. Um, please only answer in a yes or a no. Please do not provide any further explanation than that. Just a yes or a no. Front seat question. Has this character given me a name? Like, have they said their name? Yes or no, front seat question. No. That was what my notes were pointing to. Huh. Okay. Well... Two bells, Blight Town and the Undead Church. Ring both of them. I believe this person said time is convoluted here. Um, or at least led me to believe that. Here's my next question. Oh, Score Monkey's here. Score Monkey, can I ask you to do me a favor? Rather than ask all of chat, would it be possible if I could ask just you to provide me with what this person said right before they said <sighs> Maybe this line. It's time I do something about it. They said some dialogue. My memory is that it involves snoring. Marsh also has it. Okay, perfect. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say, but now we have a new problem. It's noisy, snores, its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter. Thank you, Score Monkey. Can we get some hearts in chat for the very good front seating? Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn that stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Sigh. Maybe it's time I do something about it. Hi, Selena. Welcome in. Okay. So to be clear, that is noise, snore, and lethal breath. <laughs> ah! It's fine! Oh, God! I clicked back on the game, and I just happened to be stand- I- that was my mouse, not even my controller. I clicked back on the game, and it attacked! Fuck! Ah! Oh, he's fine! Look at him, he's not even mad. <sighs> Maybe it's time I He's fine! About it. I just about gave myself a heart attack, it's fine. So here's the thing I was thinking. We had a- Ah! That's the thing! That's what I was gonna say! <laughs> okay, I was about to say, we heard a noise over here. That's fucking so creepy. We heard a noise over here. What kind of Pokemon is this? And I was gonna check over here to see if this is where I heard the like snoring noise. Is that the Loch Ness Monster? 
Why do you have Goofy's ears except coming out of your cheeks? This ought to be fun. This ought to be real fun. Okay, let's just fucking go for it. Hi. Hi. Hello? Are you the mayor of Blight Town? I've been looking for you. Please don't eat me. Can we talk? Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? That was also not the voice I was expecting, Bree. What? I had that exact same thought. King Seeker Frampt, close friend of Lord Gwyn. Which is interesting because I have Lord Gwyn written down er very early. So Lair, I believe, is the birthplace of Lord Gwyn. Lord Gwyn is looking for sun. No, 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 no. Solaire is the person with the sun. From the birthplace of, with the with the sun on their face, I think. Birthplace, uh, Lord Gwyn looking for sun. No, maybe Solaire is looking for their sun. I've also read Lord Gwyn somewhere else in all the lore, but I don't remember where. I'm sure it's in some of my items. Do I seek to elucidate my fate? AKA to clear up my... Hey Ryan, haven't been active for Hi, a while Chameleon. in chat, but wishing all the best for you and Meg with the baby on the way. Thank you very Living much. Heart. Thank you. Chameleon, uh, first off, chat, can we get some hugs in chat? A uh, little in the hugs. Uh, Chameleon, I saw your post in Tough Days. I just want to say uh, proud of you for engaging with it and thinking about it. You've got this. Wishing you the best. Um, I was thinking about you this morning. Um, I, hope you're, I hope you're doing okay. <clears throat> Pexy says I was lurking. What is this? This is uh, Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. No, it's King Seeker Framped. They. I don't like the noises either. They're kind of like a dinosaur from like Land Between Time. Oh my God, their neck is so goddamn long. I'm gonna choose yes here, of course. You are a nightmare, is what you are. Just wanted to say something. Say hi, thanks, but not necessary. Yeah, of course. I mean, that doesn't, you know. Their neck is so Just hope you're okay. Long indeed. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say yes. I am the chosen undead who has rung the bell. I'm gonna say yes, because of course I'm too, I'm too tempted by fate. To have my fate elucidated. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anorlondo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Okay. Uh, chat, can someone read... <laughs> Does anyone have that handy? And can you retype that in chat? Because I could not write it down fast enough. What's the name of the dinosaur friend from Land Between Time? That's some capital L fucking lore right there. I'm supposed to succeed Lord Gwyn. And then after that part... Uh... Littlefoot. There you go. This is Littlefoot, except grown up and... Uh, Littlefoot has been drinking for four days straight, I think. So that you may link the fire. Cast with a capital F. That's important. Capitalization is important. Cast away the dark and undo the curse of the undead. Okay, that's going to be huge. To this end, you must visit 
Here's a question. Do we have a, uh... Do we have an exclamation fate in chat? Exclamation fate? If not, we could just make that the command. And then we would have it on, you know, on record. Visit Anor Lan... Visit Anal... La <clears throat> Visit Anal Lando. Okay, if I alt-tab here, am I going to accidentally attack? Please no, please no, please no. Wait, dope. Got it. We're supposed to uh, visit anal land and acquire anal landal and acquire an Orlando. <laughs> or we're supposed to visit Orlando. Acquire the Lord vessel. Okay. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? You've got something in your teeth. We're going to the zoo. Let's go. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress. I had to set down the controller and they moved. Oh my god, you scared me. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Okay. Can you give me another one, or is that all Those of it? Those who seek the realm okay. of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly okay, house. Okay, okay, okay. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you. Oh, you're right. The camera the camera blocks the uh, options here. Does feed item feed large titanite shard? Feed green titanite shard. Feed titanite chunk. Feed red titanite chunk. Titanite slab. Feed green titanite shard? Yes. What happens if I say yes? Let's back out Farewell, first. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. What artist is responsible for your teeth? Because I have a, some words for them. I have some strong words for them. I can feed these to you? Why would I want to? Oh god. What happens if I feed you an item? I am pleased. Is it I can feed you a blood red moss clump? I'm going to feed you one. Did you like it? Can you feed him a dung pie? Amazing question. Amazing, amazing question. Let's try it. Oh, you gain souls if you feed them to you? Oh, okay. I can feed this man shit and I get 200 souls out of it. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Don't feed him poop, Ryan. Why? He's he's feeding me shit right now. I'm supposed to succeed the Lord Glenn? No, I'm not. I'm Mark Von Hiarline. I look old. I'm decaying in front of your very eyes. I'm not going to be a lord. He's feeding me shit. He's been nothing but kind to you. He's lying to me. He's trying to sell me on a trip to... To... A place called Anal Orlando? Fucking scam artist. Welcome in, Heir to Dreams. How's it going? This guy has a terrible diet. No wonder his teeth look like that. True. Let's make him eat some more shit. 
I wonder if I should feed him the other stuff. Here's the other thing. This is really making me think about something I've sort of put off answering for now, which is that over here we have these items, which I would really like to turn into weapons, but I don't know how to just yet. Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly and Soul of Quelag. I want to see the new weapons. I'm a sucker for new weapons. Night Night Chunks. I don't know. Maybe we should go. Maybe it's time to visit Andre. I don't know. <clears throat> Anal Orlando is fucking incredible. I think that's what it's called. I think that's they just I think they just misspelled it. What's the least useful of these? Because I kind of want to give him something to see what it does. Large Titanite Shard? There's only... I have four of those. Let's try and give him a large Titanite Shard. Large Titanite Shard has shattered, becoming a Titanite Shard. Fuck. So you just make them smaller? Farewell. So you just chew them. I mean, that makes sense. You just chew them up into smaller pieces. <laughs> that might be an incorrect understanding, but I think that also might be the correct understanding. You took my big piece of something valuable and you made it a smaller piece of something less valuable. Great. Science! <laughs> Is your breath really bad? Can I jump down? I don't want to, but I kind of want to, right? Okay. Welcome back to Dark Souls. I don't know. Things are very surprising so far. Hmm. Hello? What the fuck? Who are you? What the hell? Who's this guy? Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my... Pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magics unsafely. Oh, no. I don't even remember this guy. This is not, uh, it's not Dom Hall of Zima or Zima. It's not Andre Griggs. Griggs is the sorcerer. Andre is the smith. I believe Solaire is the one with the sun head. It's not, um, it might be Oswald. It might be, it's not Lautrec. That's the gold armor. Or orange armor kind of guy. It might be. It's not Petrus because that's Bullcut Berry. It might be Rickert of Vinheim. Tap front seat question: Yes or no? Is this Rickert of Vinheim? Just a yes or a no. Just a yes or a no. To be clear, I'm just looking for a yes or no. Please don't say anything else. No. Okay. Rickert of Vinheim. I'm pretty sure is the guy in the uh, like by. Dennis, uh, who is a uh, who is locked behind someone. Front seat question: Is this Siegmeier? Yes or no? Siegmeier? Yes or no? No. Who the fuck is this guy? be Laurentius, I think. I think that's a new character I met. I can't tell. My notes are kind of messy over here. <laughs> Ryan, I can't take it how you somehow managed to squeeze every last drop of Tama out of me on a regular basis. It is Siegmeier. I like spreading misinformation. We ask people not to answer... Uh... <laughs> Please, please don't uh, answer front seat questions with incorrect info because it makes it really hard for it. Like breaks the whole system. The moderators don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, oh really? 
Well, that's a shame. But it, uh, it's your choice. I'm on the fringe. Yeah, I know. I, I'm dead or not, that's who I am. I only wish that, that, that I could have repaid you somehow. Oh, hello there. Can I, I answer again? Safe. Oh, and uh, if by chance you've had a chance. Yes, hearts, thank God. Okay. I'll be pleased to assist you by sharing my spells. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. Pyromancy flame. A flame from the great swamp. This is probably Laurentius. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. I like your right, voice. Let's get started right now. Chat, front seat question, yes or no, is this Laurentius? Yes or no, yes or no? <clears throat> yes. Where did I meet this man? Front seat question. Where did I meet this man? I don't remember. Great swamp? In the depths. Okay. Was he inside of a barrel? He's Barrel Boy. Yeah, he's Barrel Boy. Laurentius Barrel Boy. That's what I... I should have written down Barrel Boy. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. He's Barrel Guy. Pyromancy Flame. I can upgrade. Purchase from you. Combustion, Fire Orb, Iron Flesh, Flash Sweat, or Fireball. Fireball. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it, just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm not going to buy anything right now, but um, I think I'm all right, but... Goodbye. I'm glad we had it. I'm glad we had this chat. Don't you dare go all I think I'm hollow already. Very glad we had this chat. How's the other? How are the rest of my friends doing? Barry's here. Barry's here. Ah, oh, oh, you. Have you seen my lady? Good point. Good point. Last, where might she be? And would she be safe? Hi, Rose Barbarian. Welcome in. Uh, we got an item called. the hell I don't think it's this one but maybe was this Pyro uh okay pyromancy of Carmina who harnessed the power of flame to actualize the inner self short strength slash endurance boost but you lose HP I feel like this is the one we already had probably in this category it's probably the thing you use to cast it yeah here it is pyromancy flame there it is Flame medium used by Great Swamp py Pyromancers. Pyromancers arouse this flame to produce various fire arts. Equip Pyromancer flame to produce pyromancy. Attune pyromancies from a scroll at bonfire. Most pyromancies have limited numbers of uses. Okay. So, hold up. To use it, do I need to have a specific uh, magic uh, stat? I probably do, right? This is the thing that's stopping me from using magic. All it has is a strength of four. Okay. Well, fuck it. Maybe I'll put it on and, and buy something and see what happens. Okay. You're still looking for lady. Maybe from you I will buy something. Oh, hello there. I'll play as always. Uh, can I purchase from you maybe... Do, do, do iron flesh boost defense and resilience um oh we are getting some lore deep in here pyromancy of carmina who harnessed the power of flame to actualize in herself intense sweating reduces flat flame damage oh maybe we use that to get through the the dragon carmina the most accomplished people of salaman the master pyromancer pioneer new directions for the art of pyromancy I feel like this one could be. It's got three. I love the way. I just want to point out really quickly. One of the other enemies 
of Dark Souls. I'm pretty sure this item has three uses and one slot. But the fact that the three is pretty damn close to slot. You know what I'm saying here? You see what I mean, right? Uses. Tab three different times, then three. Slot. Tab three separate times. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm gonna buy it. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. So I need to attune it at a bonfire, I'm pretty sure. But I'm gonna check this here to see. I think I have to attune it at a bonfire. But it's kind of cool to just be carrying flame around in my hand. Look, guys, look, I've got. You guys have seen the Lotr. The Lotrman uh, commercials, right? You've heard of Athlete's Foot. Now me, Athlete's Hand. Mark Von Hiarlein has such sweaty hands that <laughs> if you buy this Athlete's Foot spray, athlete, Athlete's Hand spray, you too can calm the raging fire of Athlete's Hand. What did we buy? I bought a uh, Flash Sweat, which I am going to try to make use of to get past the dragon, maybe? I need to be resistant to flame to get through that, so that's my thought. Is Greg still over here? I'm checking in on my NPCs because apparently they don't last forever. Hi, Gregs. What's up? Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece, and pray that you never go hollow. Okay, that's the whole dialogue you have. Great, love it. So where is my my man? Let's just double check here, because I'm gonna be really saddened if we don't have a uh, if this person is still gone. I think they might be gone forever. Still dead. And then this guy's gone. Damn. I paid for sweat. Yeah, I paid for hot flashes. Listen, when you get a little older, these things are not, these things come naturally. Okay, um, well. Hi Siege, how's it going? We were also considering using the black eye orb. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's just an item. There's lots of puzzles we have to solve. Warm and soft. You know what I mean? Locked door by elevator, I think we got. I'm going to put lava on the list because I think we're supposed to walk in the lava. I know what we got to do. We need to go see Vihihi. We got to go see our girlfriend. We haven't seen our girlfriend in forever. Chad, is that a living, breathing person? Oh. We're not going to go see Quaylag. Quaylag was not my girlfriend. That's, uh... That's Dom Hall. What the fuck are you doing over there? Ah! I forgot about that. I can't get to you over there. I'm 90% sure that's Dom Hall, and I need to get over to you to see you at one point, but probably, but not with a lot of money in my hands, because I can't. If I have money on me, I can't. Sorry, my brain's a little bit broken. So Lair is my girlfriend? Um... Maybe I could ask a series of front seat questions here to make sure I do have my NPC. Let's let's do a Dark Souls NPC test slash front seat question. Chat, front seat question, yes or no. Solaire, 
person who's staring at the sun? Yes or no? Is that Solaire? Yes. Dope. Who the fuck is Oswald? Um, okay. That was the only one that I had on my list. Oh, hello, dearie. Hello, dearie. You left me high and dry for a while there. I thought maybe you'd forgotten about me. No, I went into the... more of my moss, then? Plenty of it here. Freshly peeled. Just for you. Oh. <laughs> my girlfriend's mad because I didn't call her over the weekend. That's fair, first off. That's fair. Uh, I'm gonna get some... God damn it, I'm gonna be broke here in a second. Give me normal fucking throwing knives. I still don't know what curse is. Okay, we're just using all of our money to get some more, uh, get some more moss. Much obliged. I think I like you. <laughs> I think I like you too. Maybe we should, uh, get married next year. Okay. So. I need to go to a bonfire to a tune. Nearest bonfire would be... Let's go this way. Hmm. Just a normal day in Dark Souls, by the way. I'm fated be to become the next Lord Gwyn. That shit's wild. This goes where? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This gets me to a bonfire. Oh. Man. Shout out to that ring that brings me a, a little bit of health upon killing people. It's so good. Just keeps me at, like, the same amount of flasks most of the time. I love it. Big fan, big fan. Uh, everyone in chat is getting bonked. I feel like Twitch chat has gotten hornier. Do you guys think that's true? Specifically, our Twitch chat. Not every Twitch chat, but ours. I feel like our, our Twitch chat has gotten horny. Yeah, exactly, Siege. I think you're onto something. It's just spring. The secret is we've always been horny. Tune magic. Let's attune flash sweat. Why can't I? Select slots? What do you mean? Oh, the slot is at the top. I have three uses of flash sweat. Oh, we're about to do some fucking science. We're about to do some goddamn science. Ah, flesh, flash sweat is in the top slot now. Ah, look at that. Science. Okay, let's go to the dragon. We need to switch into our best flame, uh, our flame retardant gear. Um, we're going to try and get around the dragon this time. There's got to be a way past it. Hold up a minute. I was just thinking... Last time, oh my god, we never did the whole Drake area, the Drake forest area. We forgot to do God's plan. Uh, nice for what forest? 
because that was right at the end of last stream. And I was thinking when we found that, I was like, oh, Drake Forest, probably some dragons in this game. And then I was like, wait, we've, we've seen a dragon. There is a dragon. We've been killed by the dragon. A bunch of times. Just got back. What's occurring? It's time for science. We're going to try it. We're going to try and get past the dragon here in just a second. Uh, but we need to change our gear into our best flame fire defense stuff. There's gargoyle helm. The, uh, the new armor that I like. The armor of the glory or whatever. Armor of glorious. Unless there's a... Uh... Unless one of the new things is better. Oh! That's right! The gold-hemmed black stuff is good. Surprise, it's actually the actor Drake's forest. <laughs> the actor? It's Degrassi Forest? Uh, I love that you chose actor. That's, that's great. Um, it's Degrassi Forest. So here's what we're going to do. Are we doing a dragon prediction? Maybe we should do a prediction here. No, because I feel like you guys will know whether or not this is going to work. <clears throat> and I don't know right now. <clears throat> Here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I don't know how long this spell lasts for. It, it, the intense sweating reduces flame damage, which is a hilarious description for a, for a mechanic. Um, we're going to try. What button do I have to hit to make this work? Run, run. That's pretty good so far. Run. How long does it last for? Run. We're doing it. Run. Get through, get through, get through, get through. Oh, baby. No, I didn't. Okay, okay. Die! Did I hit the wrong button? No, I healed. Okay. We made it. Oh, that was exciting. What's the lever do? Look at how much I'm sweating, by the way. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't occur to me until right now that that is all hypothetically supposed to be sweat. I need a drink. This sweat session is brought to you by Spindrift. It's not actually brought to you by Spindrift, but you know. Grab some electrolytes. This shit's open, which is fantastic because I know exactly where this goes. This is that door with the fireplace behind it that we never figured out. Light the bonfire. Let's go. Experimenting is my favorite thing in Souls games. That feels good. I'm really happy we figured that out. There's a bunch of guys out there. Enemies. I think technically the bonfire, the, uh, the, we'll rest here just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure the dragon actually left. Right? Oh, you guys are all awake now. Yeah, they're gone. Hi, friends. I'm retaking the castle. Castle is now mine again. Oh, baby. Progress? Progress. Can't wait to see where I see the dragon next. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now we can go see Solaire anytime we want without having to coordinate a whole... The whole thing. Hell yeah, brother. Solaire? Weren't you right here? Staring into the sun? The sun looks like it hurts my Nazgul face. 
God damn it. <laughs> it's possible that Solaire is actually down, up one, and then over. Like, this way, then over. But I don't... Because there's a couple landings, I think, here. No, this goes straight to the thing. The NPCs keep leaving, which is totally fair and honestly great. Because it suggests that things... It suggests that... Here's why I think overall it's a great thing that the NPCs are like disappearing and moving and things are developing. It's one of the things I love most about Bloodborne. And I, di I didn't love it about Sekiro because I didn't really understand it. Here's why... Here's a underrated thing that I really think is a strength of Souls games so far. The ones I've played at least. The NPCs and the like timeline and the like timeline of consequences is hypothetically what I'm calling it. Like, I don't know why Solaire isn't there, but because he isn't, because they aren't, I now attribute it to some decision or I've made either in terms of like an actual interaction with NPCs or whatever, or a boss I've already killed or a way I have developed the game. That means that the world has is, is changing and it's really, it really like makes me feel like I need to be more careful about what I do in what order and like in, and like to make the most of the chances I have to talk to NPCs because they may not be here forever. It's just a person staring at a wall and not kill them. I don't know. I really like that part of this. I don't know if it means anything. What is this? Or if it has a purpose? Or if it's as deep as I think it is, but I like it. Okay, so all we've done is is uh, is unlock a little interesting. A little connection between the two areas. This kind of looks like the spear that I have that I just picked up, right? second sorry uh not exactly maybe the wing spear uh no it's not, not exactly okay well we don't really need to kindle this i don't think doesn't really look like there's anywhere else to go is that baby holding a sword? Why is the baby holding a sword? Why is the baby holding a sword? Why is the sword between the baby's legs? For protection? <laughs> ah. Okay, well, uh, dragon's done. There wasn't really anything behind it, but. So what to do next? I feel like most things point to the depths or the Michelin man, the Michelin man. But let's go to this Drake forest. Cause I, let's go see Drake. Cause I did not have that on the list until recently. You've never heard of infant knights. Don't all babies get swords? Listen. I'm not there yet, but any week now, and we don't have a sword for our baby. Are we making a mistake? Do we need to register for a sword? Are you liking the game so far? No, Deza. I'm loving the game so far. I'm obsessed with the game so far. I think the game is incredible. Fisher Price, my first sword. Ryan, just curious, did you look at the stuff you picked up on the bridge? I think I just picked up a spear. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think I technically read it, but I think I think all it was was a spear. And I think I already had one. Yeah, yeah, I already had one. I could be wrong, but I think that was it. Uh. So, you know, 
I'll do the typical parent thing. What kind of sword do I need to be looking for for my baby? Are we talking great swords, short sword? I, my tendency would be short sword, right? But maybe actually you, maybe it's the other way around from what you think. Maybe you want a great sword so that baby can't really wield it and get it, get themselves in trouble. Ironically, cutting with a, a sharp knife is safer than cutting with a dull knife, you know? Maybe that's the way we ought to think about it. I don't know. Do I need an FDA approval on my sword? Does Gerber still make the best swords or has it changed these days? If, I, if they have a sword, do they need a sheath? Probably. I'm just going to leave the sword on sheath? That seems weird. Kind of like car seats, they expire after a while. Interesting. Okay. I like how the rat turns away from me every time it sees me. I'd start with a small dagger, have them work up to a great sword. We got to train their, like, you know, we got to train their. <gasps> oh, I about fell. Train their strength. Is my friend still there? Friend is still there. Oh. Ow. Good hit, good hit. Hollow Warrior Helm. I think it costs 10,000 to get items, and I'm pretty sure I don't want to go over there until I have 10,000, because if I... <laughs> and exactly 10,000, because if I take less, then I have to die on the way back. I can't get my shit. If I take more... I, I cannot believe... Oh, God. Now what's his fuck is gone? Oh, God. Please tell me you didn't kill this thing. Okay. Kingseeker Frampt is still here. So at least there's that. All the NPCs are like, alright, I'm gonna head out. Yep. Does anyone want to volunteer to be the new fire seeker? I got this thing and it's burning a hole in my pocket. All right, let's see if Ryan can remember how something he did yesterday. <laughs> how to get back to the Drake Valley or whatever it's called. <clears throat> Don't give them a bastard sword that might get the wrong idea. Bastard sword, to be clear, is like, like a, is either you can two hand or one hand. Is that the actual description of a bastard sword? Remind me. I hate this place. This way? Going th she Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Gotta love the katana-wielding Nazgul drip. Honestly, I've never been more in love with my... Uh, my outfit than this. Wait, how the fuck do I get over that area? Through here and around? Yeah, this door. Valley of Drakes. Show me your dragons. Let's do it. I'm so ready. I can't wait to die down here. Valley of Drakes, baby! Started from the bottom, now you're here. Uh, you guys are only allowed... Twitch, uh, Twitch chat comments must now be Drake lyrics. You're not allowed to type anything else. You guys have heard of slow mode or subscriber only mode. It's now Drake lyrics only. You used to call me on my homeward bone. <laughs> Late night when you need my souls. Call me on my homeward bone. Hey, hey. I said, where the fuck should I really even start um, to explore this area? She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my buyers and 
I only love my fires and solar. Wait, what's the next part of that? I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. I only love my fires and my solar. I'm sorry. Please don't break. Also, what is that? The square root of 69 is 8 something. Is that a Drake lyric? I'm looking very closely. It does not currently appear to be moving. I love this game. I'm so scared. And still. Hello. Hi. Goodbye. I don't want it. No, thank you. Just gonna run past you. Just gonna squeeze past you. Ah! I'm so sorry for the scream. I'm really sorry for the scream. I'm sorry for the scream. Sorry, Cabo. My bad. My B, my B, my B, my B. That absolutely got my attention. Sorry to everybody who was working. We went from so chill to so not chill so quickly, and I, I do apologize. We got some new stuff, though, so that's good. Ugh. Okay. Why did it vomit? That's the other thing. Why did it vomit? All right, we got a new shield. Dragon Crest Shield. Shield of a nameless knight, likely a high-ranked knight of a store. One of the enchanted blue shields. <laughs> blue shield, blue cross. The Dragon Crest Shield greatly reduces fire damage. Interesting. We talking more than a... Oh yeah, we're talking more. Hell yeah, we're talking more. I honestly don't know what else I got because I just I just clicked it really quickly. A dragon saw your bare feet and then puked all over. He just had an upset tummy. Oh, he's me then. Okay, I understand. He's just me. Just had a little upset tummy. That's all. Um, I honestly don't know exactly what I got, but let me look. Don't tell me in chat. Just to save the no, no backseating kind of a... Uh... Yo, 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 just just a heads up. Even even info. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Um, It was funny. I was thinking someone's just going to say it, which is fine. But overall, just to keep things simple, just a reminder, no information in chat unless I explicitly say front seat and then ask for it. I got an, a sword, I think, called Astora something. Astora sword? Astora straight sword. Straight sword of an unknown knight, likely one of Astora's superiors. High quality weapon with a powerful blessing. Uh, it appears to do magic damage. Interesting. Thanks, chat. No worries. No worries at all. Um, okay. So I can't wield it because I don't have the, like, magic ability or whatever that stat is. The uh, faith. Uh, 
but it has auxiliary effect circle 120 it does it guys it does 120 circle damage oh damn okay um that's probably actually radiant because there's a light circle and a dark circle like it might be the equivalent of like radiant or something it's like a, a glowing it, it does halo damage now we're now we're going to the valley of beyonce um magic 80 physical 80 seems pretty good like it does both of course it does not do bleed can i see what it looks like i just want to see what it looks like i just want to see what it, oh it's beautiful listen i'm not a sword person if i were this is the type of sword person i would be some gilded not great not so heavy that it's like like a little elven is is basically my my vibe what kind of sword person are you i'm a different kind of sword person hey i know what you mean hey uh, hey let's go let's go get one for your child oh my god i'm not like a huge great sword person i'm not a you know but i like a little embellishment that's very cool. I can't really use it right now, but okay. Um, okay, chat, front seat question. Did I get another item? And if I did, feel free to name it. Did I get a third item? We have shield, dragon crest shield, a storage sword. Was there a third item? And if so, what was it? No, I just got two. Okay, I think there might have been a third one there, and then I died. That's what it was. There was a third one there, and I didn't grab it because I died. <laughs> That's right, I died. All right, we're just going to run past all you guys. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. All right, thanks, chat. I'm on fire. Big Sword is my favorite build in these games. Some would argue Big Sword is my only build in these games. <laughs> some some say my only build. I just love Uchi Katana. They're gonna give me a chance to wear a, to use to wield a katana again. I'm gonna take it. You know, I miss Sekiro. It's been too long. I kind of wish I could go back to Sekiro and play it again for the first time, knowing just a little bit more, you know? Knowing a little bit of, like, how it fits into the vibe of other FromSoft games, like how it, you know? I did my first playthrough with the Uchi Katana and I loved it. Ooh, interesting. Can't sleep at this fire. I wonder if there was another fire that gets us there easier. All my Souls games end up with a mace somehow. Hmm. I think there's a real likelihood I might ask a front seat question soon about... about something, but I'm sitting here turning it over in my head instead. I'm trying to think about how you solve it. Only the Muppet and Mama. Also, we gotta look at this shield. I haven't really looked at it yet. Oh, look at the shield. Very cool. Uh, just a heads up, uh, hard cheer. I don't know that I know that item. Uh, I may know that item, but just a just a heads up, a gentle reminder for people before we go any further. Um, please be really careful about what you type in this chat. Uh, because I don't want to learn any information about the game or even be reminded of information. Um, just to be really careful to keep this playthrough as organic as possible. If you want to talk about stuff from the game that I might not know about, the way to do that is to go into the spoilery channel in Discord. Um, you can talk about things there. Uh, there's a whole channel where you can talk about that stuff. 
don't worry i don't spoil i don't, i'm not worried hard cheer however here on this channel we do we we count spoilers as a very broad blanket of lots of different things i'm just making sure you know that including like the name of items that i don't know about or bosses that i don't know about or areas i don't know about or any of that stuff we 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 uh we ask you not to mention if that makes sense cheers McBell says Uchi Katana was my uh, first playthrough weapon. Um, interesting. I wonder if that's because it's a relatively like early item you can get. I don't know. That's that's just a guess because I don't know that that's actually true. Okay, over here, New Londo. We've been to New Londo, but we still haven't been to Anal Orlando. Okay, we don't want to die here. Let me just remind myself very briefly. Was there... I smelled like poop in here. Holy shit. Was there... Chimp bros, thank you for the raid. Was there a bonfire over here? Chimp bros, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? This is the top of the elevator, yeah? So, technically, I think this would be a better bonfire for me. You go to the bottom of the elevator and then climb up. Bros, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Okay, I am getting my shit wrecked though. Ah! Ugh. Okay, you're dead. You're dead, kid. Backstab. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Backstab. These guys aren't bad. You can backstab them, but having two of them at once is a little bit of a big deal. Also, they immediately drop Dung Pie, which is the most valuable drop in the game. God damn it. Maybe if you sweat, the enemies won't want to be near you. I like that. I can't wait to see if there's going to be... Zosko, thank you for the uh, sub. What the heck? Oh, my God. Me. Thanks for the sub, Zosko. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Run, 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 run. Back in Blight Town. They tried to keep me away, but I just had to keep coming back. Um, I, w I hope there's other dragons in the Valley of Drakes. I feel like there's kind of got to be. Okay, so other thing here. Thank you, Zosko. Been lurking for a few months, finally decided it was time. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. We should heal. God, there are no good bonfires. I don't know if this is better. Jesus Christ. Oh. Ryan, if you pass an item or a drop, do you want us to tell you? Um, no. I don't. There will be a chance later, late, late, late in the series when I'm basically done. Uh, most likely uh, for me to see things that you guys think I ought to see. Or stuff that I missed. I will inevitably miss some stuff. Ah, he almost fell off. Oh my god. But I would rather uh I but yeah, thank you for asking public. I would rather uh I would rather miss some stuff organically than do the type of playthrough where I get told about every single thing I miss and therefore it's just less it feels less authentic to me and you know. You know the drill. <clears throat> I looked away for a second. You're back in Blight Town. I just couldn't stay away. I'm grabbing a bonfire here, and then I'm running right back up. Because there's no good bonfire for the place I want to explore yet. 
Maybe there will be soon. But for now, let's grab this real quick. <clears throat> Willingly returning to uh, Blighttown is a bold move. Yeah. Blighttown Tourism Department isn't doing such a bad job after all. Can we go pay our respects to Quelag? That's what you Googling Quelag Rule 34 is for. You could pay your respects in the privacy of your own. I don't need to be there for that. Chat, what's the temperature on spoiler chat today? Are we, uh, is it a lukewarm, uh... Is it a lukewarm spoiler chat uh, day? Is it a red hot? What's Quelag rule 34? Just Google it. Do not Google it. Rule 34 is the rule that there will be porn of anything. If you Google rule Quelag rule 34, I feel bad. I have a soft, a soft spot in my heart for people who are like, what's rule 34 of this? What's rule 34 mean? Because my wife was that person and Tub made her Google Goddamn Zootopia Rule 34. Spoiler chat's mellow today. Okay. Good. That means I'm doing fine? Question mark? Make sure to Google it from a workplace or school computer. Uh, this way through the long hallway of fuckwads, of dung pie wads. Hello. We're just gonna go fast and hope that you can't chase me across these big bridges. We're gonna go fast. I'm a long distance runner, I need more stamina. Mayor of Blighton is my favorite running joke in this series so far. Who's the mayor of Blighttown? Wrong answers only. I think it's actually that third Dung Pie brother back there. I think that's who it is. I'm having trouble connecting to spoiler chat. Any advice might just be a me problem. You need the spoilery role to go to rules and roles, and you have to opt into the role. Rules, roles, role. And once you have that, if you refresh uh, your app, it should be visible. Was that spider with the fiery hole? I think it might have been. Okay, we grab these. Hello! No screaming this time. Some people are trying to nap and get work done. I can't get close to you. That's just money. I don't need money. I think we could probably kill you if we got smart enough. Should we try? I think we should try it. I don't know how to... I was like, is this going fantastic or is this going terrible? And then it, that's exactly sort of what it was doing. It was going great. And then it wasn't. It was going, it was going. It's nice that the the thing they like vomit their their vomit is poisonous. It turns out or toxic. I don't know whichever one. I didn't look. But that makes sense.
but it didn't do a lot of damage. You're gonna need that money for the development of Blight Town when you're mayor. It looks like I banged my head on this on this board, but Mark's got a hard head. He just walks right through it. All right. I feel like this dragon... I, I just feel like I need to try and kill it. I don't know if I should try killing it from a farther distance or what, but... It feels like it could be... Could have a cool drop. Feels like an important... If we get it killed, then we can run through there easily every time. I don't know. Welcome to Ladder Climbing Simulator. I'll take an Estus Flask before we get up there so that I'm full health. I think I've made this exact trip before, but if I have not, I'm gonna make it now. And even if I have made it, I'm gonna make it now. As a runner, I need a stamina bar that refills this fast. You run all the way in until your stamina bar is exhausted, and then immediately it just climbs. You're never one. You're you're never longer than a 10 second break away from having complete stamina. All right, let's try it. We got to avoid that like big attack, but I don't know how to do that and also be able to punch it. <laughs> no! Ouch. I'm dead. Okay, we'll just run past. like a yeah this is a walkway holy shit where's this go can i jump off and hit you because that would be really cool i have some poison throwing knives fuck i think i got a bow i mean i think i have enough arrows to hit you classic way to take down a dragon. Just a bunch of bows. A bunch of arrows. Thirty-one. Shoot you in the eye? It worked in the Hobbit. Same, same thought. I think we're honestly going to get it down to about half health if we use every single arrow. And if we use every single arrow, then we get to go meet our girlfriend again. I'm going to go PC when he's done. See ya. <laughs> I think we've used 20, and we've got it down about... We've used a third, and we've got it down to about a sixth health. Cheese? This is the stinkiest cheese. This stinks of cheese. I'm going to do all this and then die, and I'm going to be the saddest motherfucker in all of Blight Town. Mark Von Hjarlein, new album dropping 2024, the saddest motherfucker in all of Blight Town.
Anyone else sad for this poor guy? Nope. He's not friend. Before you say friend shaped, I want you to know that that is distinctly not friend shaped. It is shaped, but that's about it. Six arrows left. Half hell. He is friend shaped. That's not true. It looks like an abandoned dog. Don't you dare make me feel bad about this. Do I have a crossbow? I do, right? I did 20, I did 23. That's not even worth it. All right, here goes nothing. Maybe I should do a jumping attack. No, oh, that wasn't it. Nope. Maybe I can hit its feet. Nope. lose all my shit here, aren't I? Tickle his toes? You're so strong! Stop it! I'm switching shield, because I'm not actually getting fire. time lights my ass up I used all my arrows now I'm gonna die There's gotta be a reason for this to exist right Nope, not like that. Took fall damage. Oh, God! One heal left. I think I have to go for my souls more than anything. Yeah. Oh god. I got the souls. Now no matter what happens, it's fine. Run. Okay. Oh god. That missed somehow? This is kind of working. Yo, hard cheer. That's the kind of stuff we ask for. That's that's the that's the exclamation backseat. All right. I think I can kind of run in, get like an attack, and then run back out. It's not pretty, and we're gonna die. But as long as I run while, first off, oh my lord. Cool. We'll turn it down to one. As long as I run in <laughs> while it is already in the animation of attacking, I think I can actually hit it and then run back out. It's not pretty, and I can't have the camera locked, but I think we can do it. You guys believe or disbelieve? 
His ass is so loud. He's so loud. As long as I get back here, he can't reach me. Ow. Okay. If I get hit by the poison, it's bad. Okay. I can use this to kind of skip the poison a little bit if I want. We have so little health. So little heals, I should say. Yeah, all I have are uh, seven or ten poison throwing knives. There's no way they do enough damage to get us through that. They do like eight damage and potentially build up poison. Um, I think. Which is not enough to make this work. So we basically have to do it this way. We have eight crossbow bolts that do like 18 damage. What if there's a bonfire over here? Okay. This is the one that's worked. Start spilling. Nope. Spit at me. We're going to make it work. Or we're going to die trying. Spit at me the minute it's gone. We run in. We start vomiting. I get around it. God damn it. I did not get around it. That doesn't even hit. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh, God. Please. Think before you come for the great one, Drake, at some point. Oh, my lord. Okay. Um, I'm getting my stuff out, and I'm getting out of there. That doesn't, that's not worth... <laughs> that's not worth fighting right now. I wish Quilag would spit at me. Exclamation bonk. Welcome back to Blight Town. It's fun. There appear to be smaller dragons afterwards, so maybe we can go die to those. Oh, I didn't add one to the counter. Oh my god, I almost forgot. 169, by the way. Nice. Nice. Thanks for the bits, Deku. I'll turn the volume back up once we're past this dragon. Do not bonk those who speak the truth, for they are truth sayers. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, Drake. <laughs> you know, I, you know, a, a very similar line to that. You know, I'm here for the party, and I ain't leaving till they kick me, shut me out. Oh my God, it's so Blight Town is so quiet. This is the preferable way to experience Blight Town. With sound down to two. Uh, by the way, am I spamming bits too often? You can tell me. I'm unexperienced with them. Uh, I No, no, no. First off, I think you're fine. Second off, uh, I have a way to turn it off or mute them if I get uh, annoyed by them. I think you're being entertaining. I'm fine with it. <laughs> There is such a thing as spamming bits too often. I don't think we've reached that point today um, at all. Oh, shit. That hurt. Let me out of here. Absolutely, uh, we've hit that in the past. But at that, when that happens, I usually just skip alerts or, uh, <laughs> go for, or, or uh, turn it off for a little bit. All right. We're going to get our souls. We're going to get out. And then we're going to run past this, past Drake and never see him again. You know I'm here for the party. What's the best Drake song, chat? And why is it nice for what? That's the one that uh, samples Lauren Hill, right? Never listen to Drake. Okay, we're through. We're through. Parthenax is hungry. 
I got stuck in a call. I was hoping this guy would be still be around. Most painful last five minutes of my life right there. Or most painful five minutes of my life were the last five minutes. And by five, I mean 20. Okay, so these guys look more friend-shaped than the last ones. Please don't spit fire. Okay. Oh God, we're fucked. We're dead. He's got some razzle dazzle. This one's bringing the razzle dazzle for sure. It kind of looked like lightning attack, though. You know? He didn't spit fire just like you asked him. Yeah, he spit, spat what looked like lightning. It was kind of weird. I mean, it was yellow. It looked like sort of crackling. But also, sometimes I struggle in games like of this era to be like, is that lightning or fire or... <laughs> All right, well, here we go again. I am going to be mayor of Blight Town by the time I'm done running through this place a million different times. How's it going? Thank you for the 1,500 bits. Oh, my God. Have we been over this way? Yeah, we have. That's the thing we did. Holy pog. Thank you, Priya. Thank you. Thank you. How are you today? Are you sure you have music turned on? I haven't heard a single Drake song in the Valley of Drake. Just be thankful they fixed Blight Town in the remaster. Was there bad FPS down here? Is that what we talked about? The first day I dropped in? I think someone said that. He spit some sort of polygons for sure, yeah. FPS was so bad. I cannot imagine tackling this place with low FPS. I cannot. It's the third one of these. You think that this is the mayor of Blight Town? You'd be wrong. That's actually his security guard. You think this would be the mayor of Blighttown? Nope, that's his brother. That third one right there, that's the mayor of Blighttown. Has horrendous FPS. It was horrendous FPS. The enemy AI, AI in the entire zone was automatically aggro. The entire zone, holy. Wow. Doing fine, hope you all are too. I'm doing great. Doing well. Minus the fact that this almost looks like a no-go over here. Like, I really do not know what to do here. Do I have a shield that's better against lightning? I mean, this one's pretty good. Maybe we'll use gargoyle. I guess we can switch out of fire resist and go like... Let's go back to our, our other setup here. Let's go like Armor of the Glorious, Elite Knight... My, my favorite, like, fighting setup is uh, Elite Knight Leggings and Gloves, Armor of the Glorious, and Helm of the Wise, for now. I had the menu open. That could have been dangerous. I believe if I run up and then past, everything is fine. Nothing can hit me. It, you can cause audio damage. It kind of looks like I can maybe jump to that, but I don't see what you would do afterwards. And then we get to some drakes, specifically three of them, and I don't know how to kill them. And it's a tiny little area that I'm like, I don't know how to get past them. The walking bling sound? I know, right? Okay, if we get over here, 
I think it's possible we can get behind you. We're doing so little damage. Ouch. Ouch. Please don't attack me. Heal. Come over here. Come this way. Okay. Blue eyes, white dragon. You look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. We're doing so little damage here. Okay. The bleed did a lot of damage. 400. Oh my god, that's a walkway right there. Oh my god, there's an item back there. What the fuck? Oh my god, the bleed is so good. Oh my god. I do 20 at a time, and then I do 420. Plays it. Humanity. Holy shit. But Pants hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. Drake when he became mayor of Blighttown. <laughs> Okay, that worked well. Let's see if we can just get one of the aggro. Oh my god, there's so many. Three over there. Four, five. No, no jumpy. Come this way. Find me over here. Find me over here. I really liked fighting right here. It's a small area. I can get behind you. Are you turning around? No. Come this way. You just walk backwards? I feel like this weapon is really going to be a little annoying versus these guys, but I don't know what else to do. It's only really going to hit when it does the bleed, but I think we're going to have to fight them. We're going to have to go for it. Ouch. Please don't knock me off. No! Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a different route. We're doing something different. I'm gonna lose my mind over here. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh let me think. So we have a couple options. We have the depths. We also have, uh, to, to do the depths, I believe we need, an item that I don't remember exactly which one it is. Um, we need an item that lets us fight ghosts that I thought I maybe could buy from Vihihi. Um, Ryan, why do you keep trying to go off the cliff? <laughs> uh, I'm not trying, I promise. Okay. We can also try Ceaseless again. Ceaseless lit our shit up though, too. Uh, Ganlin, thank you for the, uh, for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Um, I leave for two minutes to grab my lunch. What did I miss? I died to a drake. Okay. I'll think about it. I killed one blue eyes white dragon, but then it turns out that they had a second blue eyes white dragon, and that was just the end of me. What was the name of the Yu Gi Oh protagonist? Of course, there's Yu Gi. But then there is, um. Is it like Koto? Kaiba. Kaiba had like seven blue eyes white dragons, and like. Did I say protagonist? Sorry, I meant antagonist. Uh. Joey's the friend, right? Joey's the friend. One of the friends. Yugi's... Here's what I remember about Yu-Gi-Oh. Yugi's grandpa had, like, great cards. 
Paiva is buying out all the Blue Eyes White Dragons. That's about it. <laughs> Yami, is Yami the other friend? Joey was my favorite. I do not remember uh, much about Joey other than that he had a fair, <laughs> other than Joey's name. I can only ever remember uh, Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. So there's an abridged version of Yu-Gi-Oh just like Dragon Ball. Why, we need more of that stuff. We need little indigestion abridged. <laughs> Hey, listen, I want to watch his Dark Souls playthrough, but I don't want to watch him spend 10 minutes trying to get his souls back from that dragon on the side of the, uh... <laughs> fucking cliff. Um... Joey was the one with the good hair. Wee's power came back on. Welcome back, Wee. Okay, I think we go, not that way. I think we go over and up. And we skip this shit. Because currently I'm getting my ass kicked. And having to do this long ass run is making me frustrated. So. The other thing we could do is just say fuck it and go by the Michelin there, you know? That could be fun. But I want to clarify in my head whether or not Vihihi sells the item that I think I need to go into the depths, you know? Maybe I'll do that first. Uh, okay. Let's try it. We're just gonna have to sacrifice those souls that were gone, unfortunately. Quick little run up to Vikihi. Go from there. Rakuno is, lurk is lurking during lunch break. Happy Souls Day. Thank you. All right. Hi, girlfriend. Oh, hello, dearie. You left me high and dry. I thought, are you back plenty? Vihihi. So, what's the item again? I think it's called Transient Curse. Plus 4,000. Okay. Well. Hmm. Where do I get 4,000 souls? Fine, then. But you'll regret it. I can sell some things to uh, that one guy. Damn, we poor. We're so poor. I feel like I would need at least three of those in order to feel comfortable risking stuff down in the depths right now. But maybe I only need a couple. All right. Well... Hello, friends. Um, I'm gonna try and go sell some stuff. Maybe I can sell my extra like weapons and stuff. And then I think we'll try and we'll try and work towards the depths. If that doesn't work, we'll uh. I don't know. We're in a little bit of a weird spot right now. Of course, we can just go do the thing that the door we opened by ringing two bells, but. Pleased to see you. Is it something urgent? 
Uh, I would like to feed you some items. Can I feed you extra weapons? Oh, not a lot of value. Damn. Okay, but we can clean out our inventory, though. So, sell you a short sword. Oh, chat. Welcome to this sound. <laughs> For the next couple minutes. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, this is the most cursed thing of all time. Oh, it's so cursed. I don't even want to look at you guys. I feel so bad. Making you listen to this. I have a second light crossbow. Anything I have a second one of, I'm just selling the extra one, you know? very few. My inventory will be cleaner. We're not getting a ton of money, but my inventory will definitely be cleaner. Oh my god, I did have extra arrows. What the fuck? We could have also just bought a shit ton of arrows and killed that person. Hmm. Oh well. Um, I don't think I have extra armor for anything other than the uh, hollow stuff. Hollow Warrior Helm, we have three of. Hey, Ren, I'm back. What has happened in the last 40 minutes? I have failed so repeatedly, it's not even fun. We're ignoring the Valley of the Drakes. We are going to uh, go down into the depths. As soon as I can afford to send us there. Okay, that's done. Holy shit. Now, do I have other things I want to sell? I can sell you the shit for 50 each. 200 each! Wait a second. Is this the best money making method in the entire game? My man framped. What's your name again? My man, King Seeker Frampt, loves to eat shit so much, you'll pay four times as much as almost any other item. And I know three people that drop shit every single time. I know how to get dung pie every time. That's crazy. Oh my god, we have so many of these. I literally always forget about them. Farewell, chosen undead. <laughs> oh my god, we have so many. Oh god. All right, well, we, now we can go use them. I always forget about that. Ramp likes shats. He likes a little dung pie. His voice cracks me up. His voice is so wild. It's so, like... It looks kind of like a bad 90s TV show sock puppet. That's that's my take on Frant. Bad 90s TV show sock puppet where they're there to like teach you about... It's like Barney-esque. It's like, hello, friends. I'm here today to... We're here today to play a little game. We're going to learn our letters. Mr. Rogers reject. Quite, yes. Hmm, indeed. Exquisite dung pie. Most delectable. Alright, we're about to use so much money. Uh, is it going to be a waste? I don't know. Let's use six of these, see what happens. Oh, stonks. That was more than I needed. Oh my god, I'm fucking rich. Oh, to the depths. A pleasure to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's purchase some of... Let's get four! Fuck it! Transient curses. 
Wait, how much can I buy dung pie from you for? 200, okay. I thought I had an ingenious idea there for a second. I can also get arrows from you. Okay. What if hollow turds are a dark soul delicacy? We don't know the lore. Right, but now we have to think about it because you said it out loud. Okay, I typed it in chat. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a bunch of arrows. I'm gonna grab a bunch of arrows. We're gonna go back and kill that one dragon just because I want to. Because I'm I'm mad at it and I wanna take it out. I wanna take out my anger. I'm about to buy a thousand souls worth of arrows. <laughs> I should probably do different arrows. But I uh but they cost ten times as much to do poison arrows. Standard arrows. I feel like are probably the play. Much obliged. I'm wasting I money. I, like I think I like mm -hmm. you. Oh my god, did we just become BFGF? Do you want to go to the middle school dance with me? This is such a weird way to solve this problem, but I'm going to do it. I don't even care. Bye, public. Thanks for being here. Okay, one more. I've got so many arrows now. Here's the other thing. Can I use the, the other cross? The other? I can use the, uh, the longbow. Which I think will actually do a little bit more damage. I have 198 arrows. Bye, public. I saw a wall of text over there, and I thought it was exclamation away. This will be good, too, because it has a chance to give me back my... There's a possibility we can actually get back my stuff. The souls that I dropped. Not that that's a big deal, but... We should probably just get some fucking levels with all these souls we have in our pocket. Okay, so we're now going back to... The Valley of the Drinks. a little humble brag on the way out. Exactly. I cannot believe I cannot reinforce my flasks because of the fire keep... I, unless I'm misunderstanding. I am so mad about that still. Every time I run past that little grate in the ground, I'm like, son of a bitch. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Carly, I cannot believe how expensive bands are. Like you were talking about in Discord. The candy camp bands. Or wheelchair bands. I don't know what the correct terminology there is. That's wild. That's so unfortunate. Okay. It's time for fucking payback. Drake, I don't like your most recent album. I think Drake is actually currently in the middle of some beef with, like, Kendrick and J. Cole? So th we're going to go settle this in, in J. Cole's favor, I think. I wrote a Thomas song and sent it to you. Thanks, I was bored. Everything about being disabled is expensive.
Wait a second. Hold up. This is Killer Cat? Everybody pause. Can you guys hear that? and the pain will go away. <laughs> we got a theme song, baby. We've never had one before. Oh my God, Killer Cat, that has made my day. That's so cool. What the hell? Yeah, you can. Tama. Oh my God, the pain is going away. Yeah, you can. Tama. That spoke to my soul. <laughs> Tom, I can guarantee Tama does not make the pain go away. I don't know. Have you tried Tama-ing harder? It's so loud. Have you tried Tama-ing harder? Are you sure you're Tama-ing hard enough? <gasps> not the fucking butter on my Hook that up to a bot that automatically plays it. Excuse me. I'm trying to talk to my chat here. If too many uh, people Tama in chat. <laughs> Okay, we hit this, we hit this, shoot ya. 198 arrows, this better do it. 60 did about half, and I think I was maybe actually using worse arrows and a worse bow. So I think this will actually be better. Come I can post lyrics if you want, absolutely. Is there, if you feel comfortable with it, and I don't know if you, you may have already done this. Did you, did you post it in the general chat? I could do a better run through. Yeah, whatever you want, whatever you want. It's it's your, no pressure from me. I would love to be able to uh, see it in the normal general and or uh, maybe I'll just, I'll download it so I can, on my computer so I can actually play it. <laughs> oh no, he's becoming a pin cushion. Absolutely. Oh my God, killer cat. Also, what a great accent you have. What a great voice. Not, not just your accent, but your voice. Great singing voice, great accent. So how's everyone feeling? Seems like we have some time to spare. Don't worry, we're almost a third of the way there. <laughs> Try snuffles if the pain is not relieved within one hour. <laughs> Yo, Killer Cat deserves a sub after that. Thank you, Wee. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, hell yeah. Great accent. Great, great accent. Great accent. Great, great accent. Does this dragon have a name? Not that I know of. Needle dick? I don't know. I feel bad for it a little bit. If all of the arrows stayed, I would feel really bad because it would be just a thousand arrows. Come on. All right, one more time. Sorry, just while we're here. Just while we're here. What We have nothing better to do, right? Oh, 
What a community. I love you guys. I love you guys. One more. Finally. Dragon scale. That doesn't make sense. Dragon scale. Wait, no. Dragon tails. Dragon scale. Dragon scales. Wait, no. How's that go? Dragon tails. How's that song go? What a fight. Honestly, I feel very courageous right now. I feel hella courageous right now. We got to improve our weapon. That's probably what we got to fucking do. The stream is strictly no backseating. No tricks or tips on how to play the game. The stream is strictly no backseating. You have something to say, you can Tama. Yeah, you can Tama. Tama, Tama, and the pain will go away. Stole this dragon stuff, peppered him with arrows. Mark is kind of ruthless. Mark's a menace. It's true. Okay, that hit, but we're fine. We're gonna do some bleeding over here. Ouch. Okay. Big bleed attack. Oh, okay. I blocked it. Okay. We're just gonna go get our stuff. Just gonna go get our stuff. Scanlan, thank you for the su oh sub. Thank you for the oh no. Ouch. It's gonna fuck me up. Not like this. I just want to get my stuff. <gasps> Your tail is enormous. You're going to knock me off of here. Ouch. That sound is so chunky. Oh my God, I'm going to die. I think this is just a matter of the wrong... The, the wrong weapons here. I think that's mostly what's going on here. I'm gonna grab this stuff and get the fuck away though. Okay, we're running. Posted with lyrics, Killer Cat, you're a legend. I can't believe we didn't do this earlier. Watch me die when I click back on the game, by the way. I just, I just wanna say that. You're a legend. Take a VIP for the day. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. This way. Okay. Whew. Imagine I become a singer. Y'all have my original single. Yeah, you can. Time up. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Look at all these dead bodies here. I know that's where I got the loot, but I hadn't actually paid attention to that earlier. Thank you? No, thank you. Thanks for making my day. We haven't upgraded our weapons in so long, since before we beat Bell Gargoyles. We have a little bit of money. Maybe it makes sense to do it now. Sure, we could go deeper into the depths as well, but. Lynn's lurking. This episode's been, this, sorry, this episode. This stream's been a little weird. We've been kind of all over the place, but. I think it's probably time for some upgrades to at least try it. Music. I don't really also understand how to do some of the stuff. Like um, those weapons from Quaylag and stuff. F's in chat for the Firekeeper. Do I smell progress? I hope. Well, I mean, we're at least going to get some upgrades. They can't take upgrades away once you get them. So I think right after we got one of them, we tried to use or or look at the Moonlight Butterfly Soul 
at Andre. And we talked about hitting use item means getting rid of it and turning it into souls. So we don't want to do that. But... That's the same person with a with a baby with a sword in the middle of their legs. I just realized. Um left for an hour, what did I miss? We uh finally killed that dragon. And we bought a bunch of transient curse so that we can hopefully go back to the depths. Now we're gonna try some upgrades. We'll go from there. Also, we have a th we have a theme song now. <laughs> it's my boy Andre. All right, chat. Stop being horny, or I guess start being horny. You know what I'm saying? On the other hand, do we just go over there while we're here? We could. Do I smell progress? What you smoking? I want some. Wait a second. I just realized I'm getting roasted here. Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? I'll give you the large ember, sure. Magnificent. You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. No weapons for ascension. Can I reinforce Uchigatana? Yes, very easily. Can I purchase an item? Titanite shard. <gasps> oh my god, Crest of Astorius, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting about this item. Wait a second. Can I buy this right now? We'll be seeing you then. Oh be my god, I have right so many there. I have so many uh souls. I'll be seeing ya. I have ten thousand in the bank and I have What's one of those do? Three thousand? I have enough. Stop being horny, Ryan, I thought we were supposed to be ourselves in this channel. Uh, that's true. I guess. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. I should let you guys be as horny as you want. Wait, no, that's not right either. This will give us plenty and then maybe some for upgrades still. Okay, we're going to buy this Crest of Astorias. Other items here we haven't actually done anything with. Arrows. Crest of Astorius. Let's do it. Okay. Then let's reinforce this weapon. I think I have to make this weapon a plus five, and then I can do other stuff with it. Let's make it plus four. And then let's make it plus five. Can it now be ascended? It can now be ascended. Divine, raw, or Uchigatana plus six. Oh my lord. I know, I need to read the crest for sure. I think I've actually read it already, but I will read it again. And I know where it goes. It goes to the, I'm 99% sure. It goes to that door in the forest with the glowing thing. So this is the question. How do we do this? I hit X. Ra Uchigatana. Oh, oh, stats. Uh, Divine Uchigatana means it does magic damage as well. Its damage goes down, but its magic damage goes up. Or we can just keep plus sixing it, and then I don't know what that does. Okay. 
It's green Titanite shards. Oh, I have some choices to make here, chat. Uchi Katana can go up to plus five, plus six. It can become raw Uchi Katana, which for some reason the parameter bonus goes down. But the raw stats go up. And then Divine Uchigatata means it'll do some sort of magic damage. None of them lose the bleed ability. Slash thrust. Oh, on this one, my slash goes up, my thrust goes down. Thrust is already pretty bad on it. That's interesting. So many options. I'm sitting here trying to figure... I feel like we kind of should try magic, but it's going to take the edge off of the uh, Uchigatana in a way that I, I don't know about. Oh. Get yourself killed. Neither of them. Okay, let's see what this says. The crest of... It's uh, in a key place. Artorius. The crest opens a door in the dark root garden sealed by ancient magic. The door leads to the grave of Sir Artorius the Abyss Walker. Many adventures have left for the grave, but none have returned, for they make such easy prey for local bandits. With such dangers, the crest can do more harm than good in the hands of the uninitiated. Great, it can do more harm than good? BRB, gonna go try it. We have to. We literally have to try it. The uninitiated, that's kind of me, probably, depending on how you how you count it. I'm still so tortured by the idea that there is a shortcut over here that I don't know how to do. Bye, Gio. Have a good sleep. Uh, I have this done. I haven't done this yet, so I'm gonna go. Have a good time. Yeah, no worries, Bree. Thanks for being here. Oh, you fell. Okay. Okay, there should be two here. One behind me? No. Yep, right there. These guys are easy now. I really don't know what to do for the... Uh the Uchi Katana upgrade. I'll probably just wait on it a little bit longer. The real problem is I want to see what those new weapons are that I can make. And I don't know what to do with them. Alright, let's try this, guys. Open. Oh, here's a question. Just a yes or a no. Front seat question. Yes or no. Please just type yes or no. Is this the DLC? No. Okay. I thought I was like, could be. It's a new subscriber. Welcome to the cult. Yo, Crumby, thank you for the Prime sub. How's it going today? All right, let's see what's up here. That's a person. Hello. Are you a ghost? I can still damage you. Okay. Somebody else is attacking me. Okay. I don't like this. Big bleed attack. Ouch. I need to heal. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Nah, I'm dead. Hi, Ryan. Been watching your YouTube for around a year now. I just wanted to pop by with some love. Not on Twitch much, but keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Thank you. What are you, uh, what do you watch on YouTube? What are we doing in here? I just bought the crest of Artorius and I want to see what's going on. And, uh, mostly what we're doing is dying. Real quick. 
This has been an all over the place episode or like stream. I've been doing a million different things at once. But I, I've, I've failed at like, I failed at Drake Valley. That place is hard as shit. I failed at, uh. I failed at something else. I don't remember what it was. Oh my god. I think I probably know what's going on here. I'm doing so little damage because the only time I'm doing. I'm hurting them. I bet Slash is not good against armor or like. or Drakes for that reason. I bet like. the knight I was just fighting. I was doing very little damage to. We'll have to see what Thrust does. Like. I was doing like 20 damage at a time to both the Drake and the Knight. But then if I, once I get bleeding, it does like 400, which is dope. Uh, is this the one that's good against magic? Yes. Switch to Crest Shield. I probably it's probably time to like come up with a second one. Second weapon to use. What are you watching on you uh, YouTube? You Northern Lion and Ms. Rachel for the toddler. I don't know Ms. Rachel, but I do know Northern Lion. I watched Fallout New Vegas originally or sorry, Fallout New Vegas playthrough originally. That's what got me hooked. Hell yeah. Man. New Vegas, what a game. All right, let's see if we can get one of them to fight me at a time. Maybe we'll go around the edge. No, nope, they're both mad. Fuck. If we stay over here, maybe the tree will block. Let's see what a thrust does. 65. I'm fucked here. Oh, a little backstab action, though. Let's see how you feel about that one. A uh, little backstab for you, action. No, not the not the fucking magic shit. Okay. Slashing does so little against people with armor, it looks like. Heal over here real quick. We're back in the green place. We found a locked door. I, I am happy we're figuring out, like, my slashing damage is... I figured that part out now. Like, we do bleed damage. Hi, friend. How's it going? Take one of those to the back. You guys are a little annoying. Sorry, I'm hardcore focused right now. <laughs> Killed one of them. Now we're chilling. That was all my stamina. Woo. Ouch. Oh. I keep trying to hide behind the goddamn tree and you keep attacking through it. Ah! Exclamation forest, by the way. Behind you if I can. There it is. We're learning. We're learning. Okay, nice kick. Nice kick. Sure, sure. Ow. You're going to kill me, aren't you? No. Holy cow. I wonder if I should just pick a non-slashing thrusting weapon and make it happen for me. Um, let's see here. Let's start experimenting a little bit. Two-hander is attack type regular. But it takes a bunch of uh, strength. 
The two Dark Souls, true Dark Souls anger. I know, I got close. Okay, let's see here. What can we do? Maybe it's smarter to have a, a, a strong thrust weapon, like Rapier. Which I'm sure is strong thrust. Yes. We could up this a bunch. Let me try that real quick. I'm going to put Rapier on... Uh... I would think against a man in really strong armor, you want something like an axe or you want something that thrusts in between the pieces of armor. Uh, that's completely off the top of my brain, but like a mail breaker. Put mail breaker on second weapon. Oh my God, it's so small. This is a sword for a baby. Look at this thing. It's a little baby sword. Oh yeah, lots of little jabs. It's Needle. Is Needle, wait, is, is Needle Arya Stark's weapon? Is that right? That's what I was thinking. Needles longer though, probably. We call baby Liller indigestion. You can if you want. Um, to me, I've always thought that Lil is unfortunately a really kind of hard thing to have roll off the top of your. Uh... Hey you, wake up. Yep, there you go. Lil is kind of a, a hard thing to have roll off your tongue. Liller is even worse. But we'll, we'll, uh, but you can if you want. Your sister was learning to sew. She was learning to skewer. <laughs> Mailbreaker looks like a letter opener. It does. Uh, this is going to be a completely unimproved weapon, so it's going to be a little sketch. Please tell me they're not both alive. Just the one, right? No, they're both alive. Fuck me sideways with a stick. Let's do some science here. That didn't even hit. Are you kidding me? I'm dead. Three damage! <laughs> Eleven damage! Mail breaker, see if that's any, any or uh, or a peer, see if that's any better. Pin. This is completely unimproved. It's fast as shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die. Can you make it through this doorway or are you too dumb? You can. Okay, never mind. I like the way you wield that sword. It's actually kind of hot. I do the backstab. I don't know if you can chain backstabs. Probably not, right? Okay. So I guess we're going to go the other direction. Go like more of a two-handed sword type of vibe. or an axe or something. I think I have the strength to wield, though. Oh, come on. Big lead, big lead. <gasps> no, not like this. Not like this. All my heals down the fucking drain.
come on, you're so close to dead. Just die. No, 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 just die. Just die. Just die. There we go. Holy cow. You can even say opening a letter is like breaking open the mail. That's clever. That's clever. I like that. We still don't have enough strength for this, do we? No, we do. Well, then, fuck it. Now that that guy's dead, we're using the different... The other option is... I, I'm going to try two-handing this weapon right now. The other option is I could be two-handing my katana. Maybe that would be smarter. This does 41. It's unimproved. But it's so slow and it only did 41. Oh, hello? Who are you? Excuse me? Are there more? We got a little knife. Who are all you fuckers? So I must be inflicting. Oh, man. I'm just having a brain fart. Uh, 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 a light bulb moment here. Oh, my God. There's a fucking another one. Jesus Christ, guys. I must be inflicting this little bleed bar on my enemies. And then when it hits enough... What are you doing? No, you healed them, you little shit. This is bad. I'm gonna die. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm inflicting that little bleed bar. And then maybe when it hits a high enough number, maybe it's not exactly that way mechanically, but it might be. I have one heal left. Jesus. I would honestly like to get this mace, this, uh, this guy alone. Come here. If I could kill you. Kill the cleric here. Big bleed. Don't you dare heal. Gotta prevent the heal here. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Can I heal here? Kill him, there it is, okay. Zero heals left, we could use humanity. I don't think I have any on my thing, but we could use some. Why are you standing still? Okay. Whew. I may ask a front seat question about how... Hmm. I'd like to get a... Oh my god, I'm going to be sick. I'd like to get behind you. This area is so fucking sweaty. We're spinning. We're spinning. Going to be a little motion sick. Okay. Let's take this. Turn it to humanity. We're going to use one here. Yeah. Front seat question. Say yes if I understand this correctly. No if I understand it correctly. Don't explain how I understand it correctly. Just say yes or no, please. Um... If that's okay, if that makes sense. But if I'm wrong, I'd like the chance to think about how I might be wrong still. Um, am I correct in thinking my Uchi Gitana, which does 300 bleeding auxiliary effect, am I correct in thinking that when I hit with the Uchi Gitana, the enemy has a basically mechanically has a bar, and as I get it higher, I then deal a whole bunch of damage with a bleed attack. Uh, front seat question, yes or no? Okay. So I need to be prioritized. Okay. 
So, front seat question, would you say this is correct? I need to be prioritizing getting more hits in to build the bar rather than, like, nickeling and diming. Is that correct? Front seat question, yes or no? Within reason, right? Like, sometimes you can't just sit there and, like, seem subjective. Yeah. But that would be... That would be the way to maximize doing bleeding damage, would be getting more hits in, it seems like. Okay, cool. Hey, it only took us 25 hours, 30 hours. <laughs> for something, oh my god, I almost fell off the fucking edge. Uh, for something that probably should have been obvious from the moment I had that bar over my head. Um, okay, cool. We couldn't say yes again. <laughs> Zach, I always forget about this. I always forget that we have the, like, you can't duplicate your message within 30 seconds kind of thing. And so I said, everybody said yes to the first one. And then everybody was, like, pretty slow to say yes on the second one. And I was like, huh. Huh. Listen, I have no heals. We cannot fuck around here. I need to find a bonfire if there is one. Is that another guy? What was that sound? I mean, oh, yep. Oh, there's so many of them. He's a daddy. These guys are stronger. Fuck me. Chat, on a scale of 1 to 10, how close am I to a new bonfire? Front seat question. I can't hit the actual button, but you do have my permission to. 1 to 10. Eight. Eight's pretty good. Five. Eight. Okay. bad this is too many that they can be attacking in cycles here and if i get too close we go bad but if i use a humanity then i have then i have some humanity fuck fuck run no i was gonna try and run so i could use a humanity so that i had a second one no I was thinking I would have two humanity. I could use one to kindle. Sorry, one to river hollowing, one to kindle. It would be so smart. Fuck. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, chat. So here's my here's my thought. Here what here's what I'm sitting here thinking. We were really close. We were apparently decently close to a new bonfire. I think the knights, the like sh the little little like shadow ghosty knights uh reappear. They respawn. The Tangela monsters, Pokémon. Uh, seem stronger there. Like, look at these guys' health bars. 82, 164, dead. So probably around 200 health. Uh, I think slashing is pretty damn effective against these guys. The ones we were seeing looked stronger, which makes sense. That area looks like it's a later... Oh, good goodbye. That area looks like it's a, a later game area. You have to pay for the Crest of Astorius. Artorias, whatever.
So if the knights are back, we're in trouble. If they're not, we're fine. But I would really like to see... Maybe I can just try sneaking to the right and getting a, um, a bonfire if I can find one. Lots of Tama, lots of Snuffles. Hmm. That makes me feel good, always. I'm 99% sure the Knights will be back. I expect them to be, my hypothesis is that they are back. They are back, they're over there, okay. One right there. Can I just sneak this way? We're going to try stealth. In my opinion, this is the area where we start to saw the Tangela, uh, the Tangela Pokemon. Um, right down at the base of this water right here. And it might actually be that bush right there, right above my head. An item over here. There's a root monster over there, currently awake. I mean, this is dope. Holy cow. Look at the, oh no, now they're awake. Okay, as long as we fight one of you at a time, we're fine. Look at that, 48? That's worse. Wanna fall off the back? Okay, now we're fighting three of you. We gotta, we gotta work towards the end. We gotta work towards the other end. Run. We gotta work towards the entrance. This is bad. Bad news bears. This is real fucking bad. We gotta come back here so that I can regain my 14,000 souls and, and my one humanity when I die. I gotta feel. I, uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. Didn't know you were still here. I thought you backed off. Okay. Well, at the very least, we're making absolute bank fighting over here. So I suppose we could just keep trying this. I hope that Tama isn't. Ryan, you saw the fucking bonfire on your screen. I think those are just the flowers. I feel like right around here. There, that the, uh, that the things appeared. Tama snuffles, Tama snuffles. Oh, good. Hello. Yep. Just you. I would like to go slowly so that I can fight one of you at a time. Why are you breaking the tree? The fuck is wrong with you? That's not good. This guy's almost dead. Okay. Every one we knock out is good. You can't hit me from there. Try it. Try it. Okay. Okay. Gonna be slow but surely. We're gonna avoid the knights. We're gonna work our way back to. Oh, I'm, I whiffed. What's that noise? Fuck me sideways with a stick. This is so hell. This is this is hell.
Honestly, doesn't all of the Tama start to, uh, I didn't see the rest of that question, start becoming a bit of subtle backseating? I think it can at times. The good news is, I, oh my god, now you're mad. Here's the good news, I would say. It can a little bit, but it is so much fun. And also, to me, uh, I never know what the Tama thing is about, so I come up with 10 different ideas for what it's about in my head. I will say, I was rewatching part of last stream earlier today, and I was like, because uh, <laughs> I, you know, because I like to try and remember exactly what we knocked out every stream, so that I know where we're headed next. Okay, there's the bleed. Hell yeah, there's the range attack. Uh, and I <laughs> down in Blight Town, <laughs> there was an area where I was like. Where the fuck is the bonfire? Where the fuck is the bonfire? And then I looked over at a dark opening and I was like, huh, I wonder what's through there. Anyways, chat, I wonder where the fucking bonfire is. Guess where the bonfire was, chat. Give you one fucking guess. Hi, James. How's it going? We're here. We're here. I don't know that I like it, but we're here. Oh, we know. Imagine spoiler chat. I watched, like... I was like skimming through the video and I watched that moment and I was like, um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh no, I was. That's unfortunate. I'm glad you guys put up with me. Okay. There can't be infinite of these guys, right? One less tree in the world? That's a win in my book. back here. You guys don't seem to bleed, but it's fine because slashing damage seems to be decently effective against you. Okay. <laughs> Capital D code. I want to go towards that item. I don't want to get attacked by 17 of you. Where the fuck is that? Oh, wait. I think that might be the path from earlier. Oh, good attack. Good spin attack, actually. Okay. I need to heal. Good heal, good heal. Am I hearing more of them? Oh, no. Not like this. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, I'm hearing more of them. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's more. Okay, we do a little bit of tank in here. I'll run them back and forth. This is a little exhausting, but we're going to do it. As long as we just keep them dying. That's the key. Keep them dying. What are these the guys called? We don't, we don't have a name for them. They're probably something more like moss creatures or something. They give off moss, like they drop moss as a as a loot item. Uh, but we don't know the name. This would be a really funny place for a flower to be a bonfire for the first time in the entire game. Okay, you're one shot. Dead. Okay, so then you are still full health. But... We're getting there. God, this area is a grind. You're dead. Now let me go get this fucking item, please. This area is a grind. I'm a little nervous. Eastern leggings, armor. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, there's the Hydra. Do we know the name of any enemy? No, we just have my bad versions of them. <laughs> okay. Uh. 
Distinctive helm made in an eastern land. Exquisitely crafted, the helm offers excellent defense, particularly versus slash attacks, which are one of the main threats in battles in the east. Okay. Let's put it all on, see, see what it looks like. Same, uh, same dialogue, or same description. Um, same description, and... Uh, same description. Oh. Whoa, fashion. But this in the background? That's cool. That's cool. Sekiro. Give me a number, chat. One to ten. How close am I to a, uh, a bonfire ten being high? One out of ten. What are we at? Front seat question. I don't want to keep wearing it, but I don't know if it's as good as the other stuff. One. All right. Fuck me. We're going back to our elite uh, uh, elite night stuff. Um, the normal setup. The normal setup. Okay. I think this is a piece of moss on the ground. Yep. Wait, 10 is close. 10 is close, right? 10 is close. Did I say the wrong thing? 10 is close. And I'm at negative, I'm at one slash negative five. Okay. Shit. I'm going to go into the middle. I'm going to get my shit wrecked. I'm going to die. You said 10 is high, which is super clear. <laughs> okay, we're gonna restart the whole thing because apparently I said 10 is high. Chat, how close am I to a bonfire right over? Let's stand, uh, let's stand right here. 10 is very close. One is very far. Front seat question. Please just give me a number. Ten is very close. One is very far. We're still one. See? Okay. So it was the same. Th it was the same outcome. All right. Eight? Seven? Now I'm getting very confused. A lot of ones and a lot of sevens. This, I, listen, this is why I don't ask you guys questions. All right, get back in the back seat. You're not allowed in the front seat anymore. Get back in the back seat. Get the fuck out of here. Let dad drive. Let me drive. Get out. You know what? I'm going to open the back door. I'm kicking you all out on the road. You can walk. Still a night there. I can see him. There's an archway there. Knight. I think there's another one, and then there's one there. So there's three right here. Can I get just one of you angry at me at a time? There's one. Now you're running. Oh, he running. That was some interesting platform, or like route finding there, buddy. I don't even know that I've seen you before. You've got the spider shield. Okay, we'll take care of you guys one at a time. We're not going to move very far.
And then we'll keep all the other ones from aggro. Okay, we're learning. This is this is we're going through a gauntlet right now. This is like uh, we showed up at the melee at a at a royal fair or festival or something, and we're about to get a whole bunch of experience about how to get. Nope, don't walk that way because that's the way that aggro's other people. No, where are you going, my friend? My friend. We gotta show up against all these other all these other. Why are you running? All the other chums and garden knights. Okay, sit down. I don't know if they actually looked ghostly or if this is just a ghostly looking area. This goes somewhere. What? Talk? To you? Is that the Cheshire Cat? Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me, but cometh hey, thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius are none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Mm, I see. A result most heathenish and gross. Then there is nothing more to say about this tedious wreck thing. Be gone from here, pernicious caitiff. Okay, you don't want me to go that way, but what happens if I say yes? Be gone from here. No, pernicious never mind. It's too late. Caitiff. Okay, friend. Okay, friend. Never mind. It was nice knowing you. I like you. What is a caitiff? I don't know that word. Oh my god, this area is so fucking big. Pernicious is a great word. Okay. We're just running around. Cat, what the fuck? Rhetorical question? Yeah, my what the fuck is rhetorical, but... Oh. <laughs> A little loot. Stone helm. Ar oh, we can go the stone. Be the stone boy. Hell yeah. I need to read that. We're going to die out here and never get our loot back, and I'm going to be so upset. I think we may need to turn around. Moss covered helm of the Stone Knight, defender of the Dark Root Garden. Moss Knight? Stone Knight is a product of ancient magic. Although this helm is also imbued with magic, it is incredibly heavy. Uh, defender of the Dark Root Garden, same thing. Okay, same thing, and same thing. Oh boy, what's my roll look like right now? <laughs> oh, we're a heavy boy. Heavy boy wielding a katana.
I can't I can't run around like this. I do have to love. McBell said, uh, Ryan, I'm going to step away for one minute. Please have a full list of everything that happened while I'm gone. And then came back and said, all right, I'm back. <laughs> what can you tell me? All right, we're going to go kill a mushroom. And then we're going to run away. Because I think that's about as far as I want to go this direction right this second. I know. We already killed so many people to get here. But also, we have 18,000. And I don't want to... So that kind of looks like a white door. I just don't want to get too far gone and then never get my stuff back. I don't know. Hey, mushroom boy. Are these the baby mushrooms and that's the papa and mama mushroom over there? Hi, mushroom guys. I love them. I honestly really love their like texture and color. Like the little shine off the top of their heads. It's cute as hell. Take me to your leader. Can I be one with your you and your people? Where are you guys going? Well shit chat, we're all the way over here. Hey, can I get a uh, one to ten how close to a... Uh... 1 to 10 chat, front seat question. How close am I to a bonfire? 10 is very close. Right here. Zero. Fuck. Also, somebody typed exclamation away in chat, so we're going to be careful for a second. I'm not going to look at chat for a while. This feels like a boss fight, right? I should turn around, but hear me out. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. We can't do it. It'd be so dumb. Next question. Define near and far. Well, near would be close to, and far would be not the absence of closeness. I'm not going to be able to be like, we're uh, approximately 12 in-game units. 12 in-game chunks, which is actually... Uh, I mean, do I check out what you guys are up to? Oh, you guys have faces. Hello, you're covered in blood. Why are you covered in blood? Are we friends? Not friend. Okay. Well, I don't want to attack you, so I'm just going to walk away. Can you stay there? You have an item in the chest over there. I see it. Maybe I could lure you guys out and steal your items. I don't want to kill you. I just want to steal from you. Is that all right? I don't know. I guess we make lemonade while we have lemons here, right? I said this was going to be a short stream. It's 4 o'clock. Enchanted Ember. Run, 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 run. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, they're still coming for me. All right, we got to run. I'll look I'll look at my loot later. I walked into their house, stole their TV, and then I'm sitting in the front in the in the in the driveway being like, "Yo, is this thing 65 inch or 68?" Uh, hold up. Let me look at the light label real quick. Um Hold up. Just let me uh Read that? I can, but I, I'm not going to read it while I'm in the in the driveway. This is where we go through. Anything, anything else over here while, I, while I'm here? Probably a... If it's called an ember, no? Ember for blacksmith weapon ascension. 
Ember required for weapon ascension. This enchanted Ember, a form of sorcery, is a vestige of the last... Oh, speaking of good words, vestige? Vestigial is even better, I think. This enchanted Ember, a form of sorcery, is a vestige of the lost land of Ulasil. Ascends plus five magic weapon to a enchanted weapon. Sorcerer's enchanted weapon inflicts magic damage and boosted by and boosted by intelligence. Are they still chasing me? I heard footsteps. No, we're fine. Scared of a mushroom? I'm scared of two. I no oh, no no no. To be clear, no no no. I'm not scared of them. I'm scared of what I would do to them with my sharp katana. I'm scared to kill them and then have all of Twitch chat hate me forever. Prove it. I'll kill him if you want me to. Protect the shroomies. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be a good friend of the shroomies. Is there a way down to this little level here? It looked like there was an item, maybe. Oh, my God. Wait, where'd you go? Are you the big brother of the other cat that we just saw? That's a big rat. This game is enormous. And I am slow. Okay, there's that. We're getting a lay of the land here. And then this goes down. And then this goes to the, the big rat thing that's going to kill me here in a second. Large soul of a brave warrior. You don't have to take their shiitake. Oh, hello, big cat. Do I feel that I could handle you? Oh, you're prowling. Oh, you're a mountain lion. Oh, this is... That is the fire Ah! What the fuck? No! Oh my god! You know what? Just for that? Which chat told me to? Oh god damn it. Okay, never mind. And he yelled through my cat video. <laughs> and was taking a photo, a video of the cat, and I yelled right in the middle of it. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. You wondered why they were covered in blood. This area is a. I can't wait to come back, but it's a no for now. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked here. Hey, I met your older brother. Not a Big fan. Up. Your your older brother is crazy protective. Okay, just to be clear, let's do it one more time. Every good thing comes in threes. Chat, front seat question right here. How close am I to a bonfire? Ten being close. I'm waiting for you to play this game for so long. Wise Bard says I'm getting caught up on YouTube, but I'm going to tune back in before this playthrough is over. Hell yeah. Eight? No, not like this. One heal. This is how we lose it. Okay. All right. Good intel. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Do a little backstabby. Okay, down to half. 
No, none of this stuff. Come back. Don't go over the edge. Go over the edge. Fuck it. I don't care. Goodbye. All right. Okay, okay, okay. That clip is great. I cannot wait to watch that clip later. Oh, my God. Time for screaming. That was the scariest shit. Somebody's coming. I hear them. Where are they? Where are they? Over here. Hi, friend. You're stuck in a tree, which I will use to my advantage. You're still stuck in a tree. This is called Parmesan, where I'm from. In the in the land of Von Hiarline, this is called a little bit of cheese. You see this tree? Yeah, you do. Are you smart enough to go around it? No, you aren't. Ouch. Come here, come here. See that tree? Okay, that didn't work. Goodbye, friend. Rest in pieces. Listen, I will front seat my way one to ten all the way to getting a bonfire because I have to. Oh, God, there's another one. Oh, God. Oh, this is the guy who fucked me up earlier. With the crest shield. I really struggle to do damage against this guy with my slashing weapon. Oh, big hit. Okay, we hit him with the... There it is. There it is. We can do this. Okay, good hit, good hit. The leaves are in the way. Okay. Tree is right in the way here. Okay, beautiful. You're gone. Tama, Tama, Tama. I need the Tama to take my pain away. Tama, 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 Chameleon. Oh, hello. Holy shit. I was right beside you. Hello. Little archer. What's up, dude? I thought I was hearing something. Oh my god, the leaves here are insane. Okay, chat, right here. Front seat question, 1 to 10. Uh, I can't do the emote right now, but you have my permission. 9? Hell yeah, we're triangulating. Okay, good roll, good roll. Okay. Don't get too far. Partially because you're a ranged attacker and partially because I don't want you to aggro someone else. I'm out. Shit. Okay, we're taking the we're taking the bet. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come this way, come this way. So we're nine ish. Five, wait, five? Ryan, honestly, this doesn't seem to work with the whole chat. I know, which is kind of funny. It's fine. I adore the confusion. I love the confusion. It's fine. I love it. This person's a pain in the ass. We're just dicking around in the forest with our friends. Okay. You hit me and I hit you, which is really bad, actually. It's not ideal. Goodbye. See ya. 5,000, by the way. This is where you farm money. I'm at 30k? All right, we got to do some things differently. We got to do things differently. Front seat question, do you personally think I could make it to a new bonfire in the next 10 minutes? Yes or no?
That's mostly no. Let that's mostly no. And from some real people I really trust, that's no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we back up. We back up. We get out of here. See ya. That's going to do it. We'll just run. We run. From some people I really trust, that's a no. <laughs> We're going to get out of here so that we can save these 30,000 souls. Okay, shats. Run. Run. I don't remember if there was a bonfire down here. Might have been, but I don't think so. Might have been. Let's call it a day. It's been a good day. We're gonna take our we're gonna lick our, our wounds and wander home. Performing nerd says you want open the door. We did, we did, yeah. I bought the crest of Artorius for 20k. And then I made like 30k from opening the door. So at least there's that. This is the light that I was seeing from earlier, by the way. Like right over there is where we just were, I'm pretty sure. Okay, tricky little game, tricky little game. It's a good day of uh, good day of progress, though. We didn't beat any bosses today, did we? I don't even think we found a boss today. Diesel's discharge was yesterday. Um, yeah. Awesome stream. It was fun. Ah, I know what you were thinking, but I'm no good with those. It won't be easy, but I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone else. I think that's for the spore. I'm pretty sure that's what um, you're talking about. Okay. Oh, man, I just want to keep playing, but I need to stop. Gonna quickly heal some stuff. Oi, where are you off to? Oi, Brian, we won't be mad if you keep playing. I know you won't be mad, but my schedule. I was gonna get off early today so I could finish uh, working on some YouTube Hello. stuff. I'm trying to work on my dogs and my schedule in my life. That's the that's the problem. Uh, Cyan, Cyan, Cyan? No, that would be with a Y. Cyan. Amarek, thank you for the follow. Here's the thing I was really hoping to figure out today, which I still have not figured out. I really want to use these souls. I've said it three times. Sorry for repeating myself. But I don't know how to do that. If I hit use, that make souls i i figured that out earlier chat i'm gonna ask a front seat question about these actually i know i have some people here that i really trust so i'm gonna i'm gonna just go with them uh that i'm not gonna ask a front seat question just to be really safe how do i phrase this score monkey are you still here Pretty sure you're already asked. I asked about how to turn them into souls. Square monkey, do I per, do I per, I'm gonna ask you personally. Do I have the ability right now to make these into unique weapons? Do I have the capacity or have I met the right people? It, answer that however you feel. You do not, okay. Did I ask that already? Damn. Okay. I'm going to write that down. Soul weapons, I can't currently. 
It's on my to-do list, but I can't currently do it. Okay. Good to know. No, you're totally good, Sherm. Totally good. Okay. Well, uh, we got to call right there. With the sweet sounds of Andre hammering his metal. Uh, we'll call it a stream. Thanks so much for watching. Dark Souls, baby. We'll be back tomorrow at 12 uh, for more. Um, until that, um, thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow, where I'm sure we'll make the same mistakes and also different ones. <sighs> if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching the series. I have loved how uh, I've loved reading some comments. They've been really, really fun on YouTube. Oh, thank you. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. I was just meaning to go here. <laughs>